technically beaten a Christmas game on uh, Christmas Day. And oh, <laughs> that was a perfect enough. note for me to unmute. Play How's enough. it going, everyone? Hope you're having well, quite the fun well, uh, Christmas well, day thus far. Uh, mostly just watch some videos. I uh, riffed on uh, an old favorite of me and a friend of mine, Robot Jock. And afterwards, okay, I uh, hoping that shows up. And I also really. played a okay, also played a Christmas game, which was uh, is which is a do mod based off of so I'm Jazz assuming Jack it's Rabbit. working. Okay, good. That's that's the case. Something weird video. And Some... yes, this is indeed something weird. Uh if this would show up here. There we go. So, we're going to start things off on quite the high note. Um as they always say, got to reach for that star, which is why I'm starting things off with a star blast cuz, you know, all the North Star to the... Uh, yeah, uh, uh... Whatever. <laughs> the Christmas game I was referring to was actually uh, Yakuza Kiwami, because technically hmm. the game takes place in December. Technically. Yeah. Technically <laughs> speaking. Remember, it can't That's be Christmas That's like saying, unless... even though it has nothing to do with the holidays, Die Hard is indeed a Christmas movie, so mm -hmm. yeah, I remember. deny that. It can't be Christmas unless uh, Kruger falls off a building and uh, the Gundam Alex fights a Zaku. <laughs> that too, yeah. Yep, yeah, because uh, Gundam 0080 is also takes place near Christmas. Just make sure to have your hamburger. Mm, oh okay. no. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I know okay. what you mean by that. So, I did have an idea for a start and a finish. We're starting things off with Fun in Balloon Land. So, let's just say if you liked balloons beforehand or kind of it fish, thanks to Pennywise a Clown, you definitely won't like balloons after this. In fact, uh, just seeing a balloon makes you just go so angry you'll break everything around you in a 300 mile radius. <laughs> we'll see what happens now. But yes, uh, with that said, let's get the Christmas festivities started in 3, 2, 1, play. We're having fun. This is what Let I this know. one balloon on the upper what left the set Christ. the tone for you. Yeah. Help me. I don't know why I'm alive. <laughs> Is this a children's oh, movie? Yes. Or Supposedly, a yes, it is supposed to be a children's film. It doesn't work. Not at all. Mm. Poor, poor elephant. These elephants need to be put out of their misery. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, uh, so, uh, I think Little someone? Mac was practicing on the hippo there. Well, I forgot. I forgot. Uh, Mike is actually very familiar with that game. <laughs> well, Walrus is crying because he has a giant ass. Ah! Oh my god! Why the ring is in my nose? Why? I'm in pain. That looks painful. I am the What is up with the chest on that dude? You know what? Um, uh, I'll agree with I the song. In, I'll agree with pressure. the song in one thing. We really should run, not through Balloon Land, but to run as far away from Balloon Land as possible. Uh, odd to say of that guy, I think that his top um, surgery did not go well. What was what is this? What was that Nutcracker doing? I have no idea. Also, I love the fact that uh, we get the intro song before the film actually starts. Fun in Balloon Land. While you all scream. Copyright Giant Balloon Parade. Just a book of fairy tales, and um, I think Keyboard yes. Kitty is playing with the piano again. Yes, fairy tales, but what kind of fairy tales? <laughs> <laughs> when is this woman uh, supposed to start the reading the book? Uh, no, don't uh, ask the director about all this. <laughs> Thank you for the I point, Tony. Hey, and that lady is trying Our to butts be, are uh, safe, Patrick. Now all we have to be is no. 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 
I thought you were supposed to read a story to your son that was sleeping. A few moments later. Anyway, I'm gonna take a piss right in front of the fairy tales. Grab it, Pat! Grab it! Hurry! Hurry! Oh, oh no, no, we got eat the god. I'm getting a few. Okay, I'm actually gonna stop because this is. Not gonna lie, that sound alert is a bit loud. Okay, here we go. So, this is what happens when you get isekai by a healing What are you doing here? Also, uh, supposedly, the balloons oh, talk back. Oh, Jesus Christ. That nutcracker has some big badonka dunks. Hello, I am Nutcracker. It's got some huge fun bags, as is it to say. Please don't, please don't look at my fun bags. My top surgery got screwed. Also, it's a good thing I'm wearing these tights, otherwise you don't even want to know if they're low. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Also, why does the thing behind him look like a weird penis? <laughs> okay, the, the kid had a low voice, now it's suddenly booming. The fuck? But the briar roses with their awful thorns open magically for me. I, I can't have thorns anymore. It destroys my insides. Let alone everything else in this fucked up world. We shouldn't be a thing. What am I? But I may be just the lucky one to awaken To be fair, Idagon, this was made in the 60s. But. I am the descendant of Jessica Rabbit. Also, uh, random ballerinas. Ballerinas. Yes. These ballerinas suck. They're not in tune with each other. We are the ballerinas. We are dancing for our god, the giant penis. <laughs> <laughs> Almost praise the penis, uh, otherwise it'll go extremely limp. Ah, uh, the gun is good. And I see that the uh, the balls are now a cylinder. Well, I, I think the military taught us best. This is my rifle. This is my gun. This is for killing our minds. Uh, I don't know what is for fun. Awesome. <laughs> also, you gotta awesome. love. This is such an engaging story. It's so exciting. Uh, our main hero looks so. Not to mention, uh, he wants to escape, but that door leads to nowhere. Because it's really just another balloon. <laughs> Everything's a balloon. Uh, we are five minutes in. This is a 52-plus minute film. And believe oh, me, God, we're getting into the fun parts of this film. Uh, Sad to say. Oh no, this these kids are bored. Quick, uh, bring out the, the, the taller lady. Maybe her dancing will get them happy. Also, a kid who's sleeping in the front row. Uh, you're moving your leg back and forth. He, he's just sleeping like a dog. <laughs> that kiss is one. He just has oh, are we done life. yet? Can I leave now? Can I... He can't even get up. <laughs> Can I go now? I need to potty. It's not my fault that I peed it's next like to the fairy tale sign and was running out. <laughs> no one will potty. You will pee in your pants. That's what the shadow of the hedgehog is. And, um. Oh, Zombie balloons dear. fucking. Uh, I have to. Uh, what is that? Um, oh, God. um, this is technically a kids' film. Don't go pull up the belt if you please. Is, uh, I like that the guy that was moving the balloon woman? is like, uh, oh, oh, God, uh, don't see me. I wasn't here. I am not. I'm not. Also, I'm so glad team. that these uh, four people are finally awake uh, because, in the end, it didn't really matter. Um, they fall back into their cause. Uh, maybe they all got this infamous scene. Oh what the fuck? What the Christ? 
No. Why is that kid in shield? John Wayne Gacy, the fuck are you doing? What can I do for you? Uh, I, I'm happy that you you uh, saved me from being hit by truck coup, but why am I wearing a gold diaper? I have so many questions. <laughs> I'm not sure we want Jeez. answers to all those questions. No, you don't want the answers to that. Oh, my Hello, that I almost, am... That kid almost tripped over that balloon stick. Oh, God, it's an <laughs> octopus. Been, that would have been oh, funny if he just flapped I, know, I am the octopus. I don't know why I'm alive. No, wait, okay. wait, wait. It has... No, it has a, uh... No, it has a little, uh, pipe. I have to do this. Or I am the octopus. Hey, baby God, I need my spit. <laughs> okay, uh, I just I love the fact. I just love the fact. The basic translation of what that octopus said was, "Let me smoke my crack pipe in peace, or else I will use my tentacles to literally squeeze the life out of you." I tried to do a Popeye voice, but I also, failed. Why are you kissing oh. them? What the crap? Uh, I, I was joking with John Wayne Gase, but seriously, who the fuck thought this was a good idea? Yes, that's a, that's who was that's who made a good idea. What what drugs these people are on? Yes, all of them. Jesus. That's why I said yes. Hello, I'm the fish, please. Don't you dare oh, let me stick my head in my mouth, otherwise you'll know what four means. I'm going to die now. Oh, my not existence is pain. Why the fuck not? It's already well below the bottom of the barrel from here, so <laughs> what's it matter? Now, I will take this kid to uh, get his gold diaper changed. What is that abomination in that corner there? Oh god, it's coming! Uh, 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 the mute is like... Uh, uh, yeah. So awesome Mega Man Sprite game that was thankfully cut out the original? I'm going to... Kid, if you stop running around... I promise I won't eat you. Come to backhand that child. Please backhand. All you hear is just the mighty. But was it a backhand or a balloon? Wait, is that thing bombed? supposed to be a lobster? Uh, I guess. Lobster, crawfish, some sort of uh creature, I guess. Oh great! Oh, I'm so glad we're back to this. Hello, I'm the farmer. My head is shrinking in a Don't you know second. You can do anything? Milk boy, milk that cow over there. Don't you know in a dream you can do anything? Oh, in that case, I dream I was out of this realm. You can't leave. You got isekai by helium coon. <laughs> helium coon. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, he was just, yo, know, using the bathroom on a fairy tale sign and a uh, helium truck isekai up here. Well, that's the thing. Uh, helium Kuhn is the beloved son of Hydrogen Son. We don't talk about Hydrogen Son after that tragic incident. What the Christ is going on? Yay, we're happy. Yay, we're happy to be stuck here. Because I get the feeling, Hydragon, um, if we, if we did watch The Room, uh, this probably would have been banned from Twitch. Not because um, Tommy Wiseau owns all the rights and would probably sue my ass, but because the Twitch regulations would uh, copyright flag me for showing a guy's ass. Uh, are they singing in nursery rhyme, or are they performing some sort of satanic ritual? Well, we must try oh. everything to revive the blood god. Also, the reason why this guy only has one uh, cow, I can only say this. I'm the government. I'm the government. I'm the reason that nothing works. Alright, I'll call everyone in. Yo! Form a circle, everyone. Start singing, boy. 
Please help me! My head is shrinking every second I'm on screen. Um, 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 <laughs> when do these kids suddenly gain Nightcrawler's uh, teleport command? Uh, they need it in order to worship the these gods of theirs. Uh, Tiny Head Jim, uh, Big Mama, uh, Massive Baby. Me with the pen. I've got nothing. Take all you want. And uh, uh, Big Susie. I don't know. I I, I gave up uh, giving these people names. Yeah, it's. Uh, Seriously, those uh, these balloons will haunt me in my dreams. Oh no! Oh my what Christ! Comes? Oh God! That looks, lion. Uh, whatever, looks, whatever, whatever drugs that lion took, I want it. I want that. I, I think want that's supposed to be a dog because that's a cat. Uh, she, the first balloon. Uh, I want and to say, um, uh, I say cat bus. Uh, Timothy, did you take steroids uh, last I checked? Did he take oh, any God, catnip man. that's injected with steroids? <laughs> hey, leave me alone here. I'm trying to eat my cheese. Or try to suffocate in cheese. It's the dream, baby. Man, uh, the giant rat from uh, oh, God, Where the Rats is hit on hard time. This scene. A cowboy? We got some tough cowboys here, Bill. Oh, God, I didn't know what it is. It doesn't even look like water to me. It must be one of those mirages. Ah, yes, uh, John Wayne, Wayne's, uh, oh, other movies. Cowboys. The Incredible oh, Shrinking Cowboy. Get out of here. Cowboy, cowboy, it's after I get out of here. I don't know. You can probably get some fun out of Bible Adventure, so I'm kind of leaning towards this being worse. All I have to say with this is, uh, looks like those guys are like, we had it with these damn rickets. Also, before anyone says anything, 60s, it's the 60s. Don't ask her. She and her boy are wearing war paint. They don't like pale faces. We do. Uh, we'll show you where the stagecoach stops to take on passengers. Ah, uh, so uh, this is the movie of it. So this is the movie that uh, caused the uh, Native Americans to to destroy people after Shadowrun. Potentially. <laughs> yeah, because in Shadowrun they actually have their own uh, little nation in what's left of the United States. This is what happens when uh. Santa does not have money to uh, you, to yeah, get his reindeer. He has to just but use balloon horses. Yes, let's save Mama. I can't see it is, at all. Yeah, that stagecoach is beyond saving. Just let 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 them rob it. Uh, that. You sure you wanted to shoot them? Well, I think a pin would have worked. Also, how did you love that story? Because now we're seeing pretty much the rest of the film as it was. Everybody's pulse is beating just a uh, little bit faster. Uh, little girl, on, why Ray, are you upskirting? Please put your legs down. I don't want to get arrested. Or nearly, I say it's not that big a deal after the Sea King. Uh, yeah, please put your skirt down. Sea King! Oil painters! Oil painters! Sea King! Also, uh, for those of you wondering, don't you worry. You're goddamn right this film was filmed in America. We don't want no commie bastards knowing that we hate the government. The government. The government. Oh. I can't tell if he, these are, uh, are police or military. Uh, cavalry? Yes. The, the cavalry of the 60s. We have to try and link the previous scene with this one. And then we have the clowns with the, uh, uh, the police's finest crap clown brigade. So, it's funny, we had a story about what it's like going through Balloon Land, 
Uh, now we're just getting someone's um, vlog about the balloon parade. I guess so. Like, I really was I was joking. That's literally what the rest of this film is. Just looking at a parade in real time. They just got... They just got bored with their swords, like, uh, uh, we're, we're out of footage, uh, uh, get that guy's videotape about parade. <laughs> they realized, oh shit, the FCC is on us for trying to kidnap and molest children. Quick, show footage of a parade! No. <laughs> oh no, Scrooge just got Tiny Tim. <laughs> The sad thing is, I wish that was a joke. That's what that balloon is. Ebenezer Scrooge oh with Tiny God. Tim on his shoulder. Here comes that mean old to penny pinching Scrooge. He's here to wish us a happy day. And there he is with Tiny Tim on his shoulder. I think he's mending tiny his Tim. ways. Because yes, it was either smiling. make amends with yourself or turn into a balloon. Stocking. Jokes on him. He was going to turn into a balloon. Why don't you wish you had a stocking like that to hang up on Christmas? How could you ever? Oh take no! All the what toys have you done out? to that I think that balloon? Up a room. Oh, it, it, what is this abomination? <laughs> it, it, they tried to make a stocking, but they they but they got lost halfway along the way. Oh, thank God. An action sequence. What with all the cheerleaders parading on by. Unfortunately, we could not afford skirts for them. Again, it's an action sequence for all I care. <laughs> oh, yes. The, the glorious uh, United uh, Musician Marine. The lesser known of the, uh, <laughs> of the United States Marines. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. For a brief moment, I thought one of the band members was wearing a balloon mask. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, God. You know, no. knowing this film, no, that probably please, was no. the case. I'd be impressed if you could play the trombone while wearing that mask. Oh, it, I'm sure it's very easy to do so, especially if you had a spinning LP on your back at the time. What? That horse has seen some shit. <laughs> that poor lamb has seen that I'm lamb. Way as high as fuck right now. Uh, that that lamb is having PTSD. He came back from Vietnam. The he came back from the Blue Land. Won, that was enough. Down he came. <laughs> oh, hey, the red heart clock. Oh, sweet. So, uh, let's get this Oregon Trail 2 run going. Uh, where's the energy vinegar? running up the clock with such pinky ears. Sadly, there's a, a mouse on it. Uh, run ruin. Do you think the chimes scare him? Oh, God, it's a grandfather clock balloon. running down. Oh god, the rats are on it. The rats are, are on it. The run's ruined. Go home. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. At the rate we're going, Hydrogon, I don't even think there's a cock and float option. It's fording 24 7. All fords all the time. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. I remember the, uh, the girls out of America had their own army. That's how they get, that's how they get you the, to buy you their cookies. You ask them who and what you and what army, and they just bring out their army. Oh God, uh, King Arthur has seen oh better days. Oh Christ! <laughs> Neil, Sir Galahad, for King Arthur oh, is about to Sir make Galahad, you one of the knights of the round uh, table. You may now go out. Two out of ten prefer uh, Silver the Hedgehog as Sir Galahad. In distress. You may Two out of ten, go prefer out silver as Galahad. Wait, where's the Holy stray. Grail? You're a member of the round table. So, so I already Galahad. forgot right now. Was this supposed to be a Christmas Day parade, a Thanksgiving Day parade, or just some random whatever bullshit parade? Yes. Yes. I don't know. Don't uh, yes. yes, Sir Arthur has commanded a tournament. Sir Lancelot and Sir Boers will fight. 
Who do you think uh, will be the winner? Either that or the horses are making the out. Lancelot. Well, yeah. it's, it's a making out, all. but also they're yes, shitting themselves. The like, that's clearly the diarrhea of spewing out their butts. The table is round. I should night pants! So that no one can have a more prominent place oh, than They don't have pants to shit. And the tournament is gay. Oh, oh no, oh, they're pooping on the clown. waving their handkerchiefs. Well, again, um, considering we well, have balloons here and clowns, well this done, has Pennywise written all over it. Well done. He deserves to get Wishing shit on. Wishing their nights, uh, well, line. I try to, come on, little girl, I'm trying to teach you how to do this correctly. No, don't you're don't doing it wrong. Don't Stop doing me, it you. wrong. <laughs> and the tournament is Rainbow Colored Earth. That's right, rather crowded house. Also, Mary Kringle! And I see that they uh, they come in all of the, the colors of the uh, of Christmas. Uh, you got your red, uh, you got your eggnog cream. Oh no. The cursed animals. <laughs> Slut. Is it... These, these are the animals have seen shit. Uh, these, these are from, uh, r slash cur cursed what animals. Lump horse. <laughs> all dressed um, up excuse me, narrator? What a plump horse? A plump horse? Doing one now. That is not a horse. On Lift up uh, your skirt. I need to see if your panties horse. are wet, because if they are, yes. good fucking and lord. I see three lovely plumes in uh, I see that horse has a... Yeah, that horse is That, that, that horse needs to be like turned into plume. We need to put it out of its misery. It's in constant pain. I'm sure it's a compliment for him. Existence is pain to him. It's like a bee seat. Kill me, please! Right behind him comes a parade in itself. Those kids are super bored. So long. It's a train of elephants. We got we got uh, Dumbo who is high on shroom. Uh, you got his friend Tiny Head uh, Jim. Who uh. One hangs on to the other. Had his head uh, shrunk during the Otherwise, last war. They wouldn't know where to go. Where's uh, like Ridley and Craig? Uh They're too busy celebrating Mother Brain Day. A giant. Yeah, they're they're too busy drinking. Uh, you see, only lady I forgot the are allowed in the circus. The males are too wild. Oh, phase on. Run around. They're drinking phase on. Perhaps into the audience. <laughs> So Guessing that the per the, per the person who directed this parade drank a lot of phase the on. They're so gay. That's the only so answer friendly. to why this is crazy. And such a long line. Of yeah, course, they're also gay. Dogs. Different time, different place, Who's folks. Doing an act. Aren't they darling? Hey. Yep. Don't don't I judge. Th if you're don't just yes. Yeah. If they want to be gay, they want to be gay. I think he could. Look at little Bimbo and there. Remember, yeah. And remember. He's hanging on the roof. What? The elephant is literally called Bimbo. Bimbo the elephant. They are very, uh, they are, they are very Holy like shit. in, uh, Mambo. in the herd. They're very Ma like. Wait. Mambo is the fifth one. Mambo number five. Oh, no. Uh, Oh yeah, the the high the the glorious high school, the Southern Lee High School man. Uh, probably not. And if that's the case, good for her. She doesn't have to sit through all this. But seriously, the hottest the hottest lady we've seen so far. She's in white right now. Help me, my ass is too big! Also, I broke one of the wheels. And why is he crying? Because he's forced to sit through the shit. Wow, that is all fat and no meat. He's crying because he he remembers the day that the uh the dwarves fell. The fall of Kazadum. It was a horroring time. He saw his friends being destroyed by by the one ring. In the alternate universe, John Lennon proclaimed himself to be the walrus, and everyone booed him. Oh, did it break? What a fellow this griffin must be. 
the a griffin. A strange nose. A griffin. He looks like oh, an eagle. Oh, there we go. He looks like a griffin. Does he look like uh, a horse? Yes. He looks uh, like, looks like a hot dog. Uh, why they're showing that? Why they're showing that snake up his ass? Why the super long snake? Why? Why? Uh, because this narrator got bored and needed some excitement in her life, to which we say, please replace with someone else. Fancy. He has an invitation to the queen's hey, it's party. Long lost brother. Yes, he's bringing Robert. the invitation. To the Duchess. That's why he's in such Albert, gay array. I'm in so much brain. And do you Please, know? Please, Kermit. I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry 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 i am
I bet you anything, no, no, no. That uh, uh, he could the probably pull the bullet train and would die. I'm sure he'll give it to us. He'll probably go down as fast as Snake Man from Big Man's Spring Game. You all that, you all that pig is like, help me, I can't breathe, they put this too far in my brain. For a year and a day, to the land where the bong tree grows. Wow! Uh, he look he it's looks like a pill. Yeah, it kind of looks like a roofie. Ah, so this is, uh, this is the uh, third oh, pill no. that. Uh, so that's the third pill that Morpheus uh, gave to Neo. If you take this pill, you'll be stuck in Balloon Land. <laughs> you you take this blue pill, uh, you go back to the life you thought was glorious and glamorous. Take the red pill, um, you go further down the rabbit hole, and I show you a world. Unlike anything you've ever seen. Take this pill, um, you just get high as fuck. <laughs> oh no, the clowns are... Uh, hello, righteous carrier. Uh, uh could you <laughs> not look at me with that face? He's been enjoying his drugs too much. Jesus Christ. He's in, he is, he is transcendent. So, that's what happened to Pinocchio if he was in the Middle East. He becomes that thing. That's the kind of face that you see in, like, some sort of dojin. Have you ever heard the sound of a bagpipe? Well, considering this is just a balloon, we'll never hear it now. Strange? Yes, strange indeed. I think it sounds. But once you're used to its merry uh, tune, line. you'll enjoy it. This is, uh... Is this oh, God. Uh, uh, good thing Willie's not here. He'll be like, You just Those made an empowerful enemy for life. Made use of bagpipes. To cover up also, I just realized, given the size and Scottish and red hair, uh, when did Fed Bastard become a part of this parade? Wait, it's the leopard again. No, 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 It's a palette swap of a leopard. Hello, I am the guy on the rhino. So that's what happens. It's fine. Ah, ah, Fido. The, uh... So Ryan knows a cousin. And your Instead so of running loud. through walls, he becomes a balloon. Okay, now I'm not even sure what context she means by gay anymore. You know, I'm wondering. Uh, uh, apparently, it means happy. I, I know what it's supposed to be. I'm not even sure if this narrator knows what it means. This context is important. What the hell is that thing in the background? Perhaps you. This is what happens now, when you feed the uh, like birds right. right. Do Please not do this. Now, the John thing is, uh, that used to be a lively bird, then it took With one quick people, glance at us. It's, it's permanently right, stuck in that poor pose. children can't even balance the weight of Humpty Dumpty. Humpty's giving them a great uh, ride. Uh, could you not talk they about like Humpty when oh, the kids are in God, that position? No. Humpty looks happy. Please don't. Stop saying Humpty! He's a bulldog. You know why? Uh, He's almost as wide as some city streets. Oh no, what have you done to that dog? Humpty doesn't frighten me. Whatever. So much for that dog. Dog days of, um, winter? <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty decided to get fucked up. But all the king's horses and all the king's men uh, couldn't put this film back together again. Everyone's completely bored of shit. Clearly me dancing in front of everyone is supposed to get their excitement back up. Oh no, it's a commissar from Warhammer 40k. I salute guard. I salute your giant bear cap. And attention. How straight. How strong. 
how tall. You may protect me anytime. Jesus, someone please have, please have sex with this narrator so she can stop oh. masturbating to the balloons. I know, right? She just having a balloon fetish. I know! I don't like it! <laughs> the guard is the only thing in this parade that she calls Jump straight. <laughs> And now we have, uh, not so secret, secret police. They're just bored. They're the bored cops. Hey, we're the fire department. It's only two of us. We're the only ones that work. <laughs> Uh, sports, uh, go what? Brought to you by SPORTS! Which is what I wish you were playing right now. Oh. Uh, sports, oh. Uh. Oh, can we go to double? The hell is that? It, uh, uh, Yeah, the one time we need context, line. and the narrator is leaving us in limbo. I think she's too busy playing with the magical flute, if you know what I mean. What the? Is that supposed to be a reindeer and an right, ice cream cone? Is this, is this some sort of chimera where they mixed in a reindeer with a kangaroo? <laughs> I blame uh, that father oh, from. Uh, I blame I blame that father from the full male. The pig masks are being busy today. Hey. Your little roo sits uh, in your pocket, so content. He also, speaking of masturbation, we know what her oh, butt plug is. My stomach hurts. I've eaten a triple decker, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Oh. Oh. Oh, I Jesus! Like Stop it! With the this fucking of the balloons! Jesus! Baby bunting. Daddy's gone a hunting to find a little rabbit skin to wrap our little baby in. No, there's still at least How 12 nice more minutes of this. I am. Help me. I can't skin. do anything. Why? It's still not over. We've barely just begun. Jimmy. 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 Jimmy.
leopards and, and uh, reskins are all from Ken Pender. I wish all the Indians were here with their bows and arrows now. Uh, Indians. Oh no. Oh no, I just saw a rabbit that just escaped from an insane asylum. Uh, I think the turtle had a stroke. The hair? Clear! Or no, the, the, the Clear! Character. That perky hair! He's asleep! I don't think he'll win the race at all! I'm sure the tortoise I'll win will the race today. because these people are pulling that me! That hair's eyes tortoise. are closed. And soon, well, I don't need the to win the race. These people up. will do it for me! He'll plot along exactly. and win the race today. Yes. The person who plods usually does win. Meanwhile, that tur Santa that uh, tortoise is, is just staring at the sky. That just turtle is now. waiting for the next rainstorm so it can drown itself in the, the rain. Yes, that's, make toys for that's the a rocket. That's, that's you just said, this you know. is the, 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 you just said South Pole? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard that too. Yeah. So, so uh, excuse me, can you tell me what's the best way to get to Santa's workshop? Uh, yeah, it's back the way you came. Oh, God. I was gonna say more like, so... In, Let's uh, just say the, uh, North Pole totally. and South Pole are having a little bit of a turf war. Yeah. They, they, they're, they can't afford, uh, guided equipment, so they just have all those elves in that rocket and, uh... Just kamikaze shit. I mean, they have pointy hats. Who knows? It might stick to their target. This reminds me of that one parade I was in that I actually wanted to go home because I really didn't want to be here anymore. Ah, yes. The, uh, the flag of, um, something got us there. Uh, I want to say they want to promote Kwanzaa. Uh, they only got one of the three colors right. Oh no, more freaky elves. No, oh, this is the best fun and excitement I've had in years! Those kids are freezing to death, that's why they're jumping up and down. Hey, we're going to Santa's! You with uh... your what? Stop, I think. I don't know. You know what, Santa, narrator? You're I right. Do. Yes. I always Santa's woke up bussy? every day in school and thought yeah. to myself, oh, you no. know, I really wish my oh, bus no. was filled with 50-year-old men. <laughs> and, well, it did say that they're, they're going for uh, Santa's bus. Oh, Jesus. They want that, they, they want that Santa ass. On ripoff, on Dima, on Dimba, on Donner, on, on Blitz, and on Chewie, on Davo. Come on, Beto! Are those reindeer kissing out foam? Uh, those, that those are those riding on clouds of anthrax, one of the two. Oh, as long as you're not using the C word, I am. Fine. Yeah, there's a reason um, this was put here. I told you it'd be oh. holiday one. Can't even see us, but hi, Santa. Hi, Santa. We're just jumping. Also, oh, I, I think it's official. The narrator has given up on this film. I think she's too busy having fun. Oh, okay. Never mind. There she is. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the story for some fucking reason. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I thought the purpose was to save everyone from falling asleep. Uh, Billy, you did a terrible job. Uh, Ma, uh, Mom, I had this weird <laughs> dream. Remember this song I was showing again. Oh no! I'm going to play a guessing oh no! Game somebody with you. broke the space-time paradox. will be on the screen. If you know their names, yell them out. If you don't, I don't know yell, any of these yay, things. Yay. 
No. Uh, I get the feeling that uh, audience participation would have worked so much better in Oogie Loves. He like bubbles. That's it. I still again. say that the one next to that cat was ca uh, you know, just cat, cat plus I just hit hard after Keltro was over. I would say phooey. <laughs> yeah, phooey. Uh, yeah, that's Look exactly. Uh, Jesus, why are we back to this scene again? <laughs> why are we back to the lobster Ouch. and the gold diaper to He's kid? Pinching me. Ouch. Come on. So finally, something I can grasp yay, on. Yay! Hi, boys. <laughs> yeah, those yeah, are all hi, boys. They're boys. not men at all. They need some encouragement. Uh, Why, because they're already clowns. Uh, they're the cool horses. Yell, yeah. hello, fat hippo. Fat hippo. Hey, Why I have a glander like problem, you bitch! Fat no, Hippo! Fat hey. Hippo! Fat Hippo! Stop <laughs> making fun of my work! Polly wants a cracker? Yell crackers! I want death! Please kill me! Yell crunchy crackers! Yeah, Iago would be super pissed oh. at you if you were crunchy forcing teeth. that onto the parrot. That's it. Yeah, Yago will probably what? choke you to death. In fact, fuck the middleman. Not even the Yago. Gilbert Godfrey would still kick your ass. I think I see. He will strangle everyone. I feel bad for that guy with the camera. Just look at the size of that thing. Come on, the band! Yay! Yay! I don't care about bands. Hey, come on! Yeah, this is why I was a choir boy growing up, and even then, that's still not saying much. Unless, unless it's a metal band, I don't that give a animal shit. animal is terrified. He yeah, really no, doesn't want to be here. Someone has lost his balloon. Sorry, but... They're unless that's a... He's saying boo-hoo, too. I'm sorry, but if it isn't a metal band, Proto Men, the Mega... Or on, any clap. kind Here of rock, band. or on, a rock clap. band of any kind. I don't care. Clap and stamp your feet. Come on. The only thing they're good. The, the only thing the other I'm clapping. I'm stamping my feet. Yeah, I'm doing that. Uh, that, that kid that is, is clearly very tired. tired. Those kids were were, were forced crowd, to come here. Wave. Up and down, up and down in your chair with Sonny and his friend. Come on. Yeah, I don't have that much room in my chair. You're I'm not, not gonna tired do that. yet. Nope. I'm staying on my oh, butt, and I you won't you. stop me. Yay, yay, or wave to the band. Hi, girls. Yeah, I ain't waving to the girls. band. Hi. Please call my number. This is one of the most boring shit I've ever done. What high steppers? Come on, they need encouragement. They have no, a do not encourage them. No goose You're down. not even showing their Come feet. Come on, let's go. Toot toot. Okay, that I can do. Oh, let's wave. Wave to your screen. Please wave and say goodbye to us. We love you. And we'll see you again. Yeah, I'm sad to say the feeling's not mutual. Land. Now wave goodbye. We we'll miss you. That's a threat. Well, she is threatening that we'll see her again. <laughs> All I have. Get ready now. Oh. We're going to sing our closing song. Are you all in voice? Ah! Mm. Ah! <laughs> you try a hmm. That's it. That was me. So, uh, uh, quick question: Who remembers the balloon Indians? Because I feel like they're crying over the shit they caused. No, I think the balloon and the end are planning their <laughs> Because the theme party. was so memorable at the beginning, now we're gonna sing it again! We had great fun in Balloon Land down in Calgary. I'm sorry, Balloon Land. Uh, I'm okay. sorry, Balloon Land, but I have to tell you this. Your mission is to kill everyone and everything. Ducky? <laughs> Ducky. Uh, unless it involves Howard the Duck, I want nothing to do with it being ducky. You can't run wagon the wagon. Let me out. 
I'm sorry, but I gotta. That's a walrus? Yeah, and supposedly that's supposed to be an owl. I'm giving up, and I'm just gonna keep on playing the Marines going, make it stop, and left me out until this is over. Please do. It's better than listening to this. Let me out. Uh, let me out. <laughs> let me out. Let me out. Kill me now. It's funny enough, I have oh, that. God, Kill no. me now. Back to the soldier going below the belt. And oh. that was just the appetizer. There's still more for us to watch. There's more, you say? More. Well, Pastiel, oh, I gotta God. play this just for you. What do we do? We die. <laughs> so now, um, I got a couple questions to ask. Uh, what should we see? Courtesy, a good example. Girls are better than ever. Shake hands with danger. Soapy the germ fighter. The kid's guide to the internet. Or the official Sabin Sailor Moon uh, episode. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in that still the beat Sailor Moon and whatever and it is. I'm interested to see how bad that is, the Sailor Moon one. <laughs> All right, looks like we got some. Uh, looks like Soapy was the main one, and then after that, the Sailor Moon one. So let me just make sure I start this off. Oh God, and then, Sophie the Germ. Um, make sure that it's not too big here. Make sure. Okay, yeah, we're good with that. And I believe the Sailor Moon one is good too. So let's start that one in three, two, one, play. Avis Films presents. Avis Film apparently presents the Nutcracker Suite. Hello, we are Soapy, the germ fighter. Sadly, he is not the dude. Sadly, because we need an educational me. film on hmm. washing yourself. Because you're all well, filthy as far as I can tell. God! <laughs> this is not how I want to start a film with seeing a naked boy in a shower. Jeez. Sadly, this is not uh, his brother Sopo, the germ slayer. But he hasn't always been so clean. As a matter of fact, for a long time, for his Billy's father, parents Mr. Clean. worried about him. They didn't worry just because Billy got dirt on his hands and face. In fact, we don't even see Mr. Clean here. That just shows you how disappointed he is in his son. That reminds me of that one YouTube poop I saw. Uh, it was a soap commercial, and uh, and the guy was looking. Uh, there was a close up of the guy, and uh, the narrator said, "Fuck oh, you." And then he yeah. was sad. Hey, you better wash your hands, kid. Don't maybe wash get Terry. Don't wash make me wash your mouth up with soap. Don't <laughs> make. Don't make me call Terry Crews. The he was, will destroy you. Had the wrong idea about being clean. Wash, wash, wash. They just want me to be a sissy. <laughs> yes, because we all know getting pink eye but makes then, uh, one night, would Billy had make a dream. you a sissy. At least, I guess it was a dream. I'm guessing I he wants pink eye once. It was not fun. He wants pink. He wants to. Well, he thinks that pink eye makes you but manly. You're wrong, Billy. It's not sissy. Also, um, time for more nightmare fuel Who's here. That? I did. One of your best friends. Let me introduce myself. <laughs> this so abomination. <laughs> Hello, oh, God, I, the I, ghost of washing past. What the fuck? Biggest life, Billy, and I'm here to help. Hello, the, I'm. Is this Soapy or the ghost of Soapy? I don't yeah, uh, I'm the ghost so of Phil's Christmas past. What a good friend I, I fell. So I, I died a long time ago, and now yeah, my punishment is just I, to uh, tell yes, people how I, to wash themselves. Well then, just lie down and close your eyes. Uh, let's not. Well, <laughs> we heard soapy creatures in front of no. us. This is no. uh, <laughs> Bad touch, bad touch. Why, I see a cowboy. He's washing up. That's right. There's nothing sissy about that cowboy, is there? He's a bronco buster. 
He rides wild horses. Then again, it, uh, he originally came in from New York City. New York City! Wow, that man is getting his balls destroyed. You and I <laughs> tame animals more dangerous than Buck and Bunko. Yup. I help you control animals that could make you sick. Now, close your eyes again. No, please you. don't. The animals I have close your eyes. I'm going to shove this thing up you. They are so tiny you can't see them. Oh, so this is how Except Vincent Price microscope. got his Quite idea his for using. Edward Scissorhands. Disease germs are I am Vincent Price. Because they make you sick, this is the virus that's in your body. You. Disease germs. They can germs. be on almost anything. Just suffer that from disease and all humiliation to discomfort. <laughs> Even on things that look clean. <laughs> yes, like let's play with a plane. Careful, kids, you'll get And cutie. money. You get disease germs on your hands. And then put your hands in your eyes. Yeah, I'm still not getting the idea. Uh, why don't you stick those fingers and shit and then rub your eyes? Maybe then we'll get the idea of how bad germs are. But you and I can kill most of the germs on your hands, so they can't make you sick. If we work as partners, so be a germ fighter with me. If we Learn work as partners. Okay, a germ fighter Boys is good at all. I'd rather be a germ slayer. Especially at certain times. Wash your hands before doing anything that has to do with food. Q Doom Slayer thing. Remember, wash your hands, or else I will destroy their hands. Just try to picture all of these sites as germs. Oh god, just all the cat little caco demons screaming. While you're washing your hands. <laughs> Remember to wash your hands before brushing your teeth. <laughs> wash your Sorry. hands after wash your hands, anything that gets them very dirty. What the fuck is he doing with that? Yeah, let's play some Jack. Marbles. After playing games. After playing after games, playing watch you games. with animals. After going to the toilet. You know, in the bathroom. Bing. Remember, wash your hands you after you shit. You and I can be partners in other clean habits, Billy. We can do a fine Help job. Let me together. wash your hands. Each time you yes, bathe all over. Yes, now rub a little low. And of course, you should oh, take God, a bath. Oh, God, wow. No! No! Just a whole bunch of no! No! Saturday nights. You must call the police. You wash your hair often. <laughs> Boys yeah, can we it. not get a close-up of this boy bath, washing no. himself, please? Girl should wash please? Hair at least no, no, why? <laughs> I'm sorry, Sophie, but I have to play this for you. Bastard, Billy. You are evil, but why? You and bastard. Every community has a health <laughs> department, just as it has a fire department and a police department. Though, uh, they usually get picked on. One of your recess. best friends is the health officer. He's a germ fighter, too. <laughs> the health officer. I am health the health inspector. fight germs in many ways. Because, you know, I, health inspector is not agent. that much of a fun name. Call him a health officer This health instead. officer is testing a drinking glass from your school cafeteria. And now a health officer checks the cafeteria windows to be sure that flies can't get in. Uh, this is back before they feet. learned that asbestos is bad for you. But then again, uh, this is the 50s. Uh, having flies in the food yeah. was quite consistent. Cows are clean and Especially healthy, if it was cafeteria So their food. milk will not have germs. Another health officer... I like my... Inspector. I like I this sure cow. I killed it! Safe. Yeah, the let's make sure it's safe by using this clean. heated bar on there or brand it. Because germs definitely won't form from that. You must be your own health officer, Billy. Since germs can get inside of you through your mouth. Yes, I, I'm, I haven't even washed my hands. I'm going to place my hands on it. each and every last one of these pieces of fruit. I'm going to make sure everyone gets be COVID. Sure you must clean fruit to get food. rid of the pathogens. Clean. Never be clean. Must be made clean. Never take a no. bite from someone else's food. 
Time we must replace our... Break off the piece to share your cookie. And keep food... You still now got you your have fingers on there, there so we don't know how that's going to help. Remember, I, I just like that he just gets the cookies. Congratulations, now you also have the T-virus. Exactly. When you drink from a glass, be sure that it is clean. It's a good idea to have your own drinking glass. Even though I've heard, uh, apparently, the cleaner the water the fountain, is, is the drinking fountain because it nozzle. shoots all the pathogens out of there rather than one the drinking thing, uh, <laughs> fountain your clothes. Um, at the office you know, cubicle that just shoots it back down. A cowboy wears working clothes when he's out on the range because he gets dusty and dirty. But when he's ready to go into town, after I've helped him wash up, he puts on his clean clothes. I mean, just look at those sweat stains that formed on his, <laughs> on his armpits. Well, Children time to head to Brokeback Mountain. They play games. Bound, you should wear bound, old bound. clothes when you play. I can, I can when you. you play. I can, you and I can say day, that because I am biased. You should fuck. change to clean clothes. You see, Billy, being clean in every way is an important part of being healthy. But remember, that asshole is dirty as fuck, so make sure you stick me right up there. I see that now, Soapy. You are a good No, 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 no. No, no, no. Well, so long. So long, partner, and don't forget. You'll be under my three spirit! Soapy. And Billy didn't forget. He's one of the cleanest boys in our town now. Sadly, when uh, he faces out of existence, Soapy's last words is... And certainly, he's one of the happiest. Don't! <laughs> no! Give that wink no! At us. No! 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 Is that no. supposed to be no. a wink? Uh, I get the feeling it was supposed to be also. Was this the. Well, that's the one I'm thinking of, so give me uh, a second. Before we Just do gotta this. Readjust this. Also, uh, to the people who made Sophie the Stern Fire and have those scenes with the kid uh, bathing naked, all I have to say is. I'm banishing you to the Shadow Realm. No! Much better! Shadow Realm. I'm banishing you to the Shadow Realm. Blech. Much better! <laughs> okay, uh, give me but... a second. While you do that, I'm gonna go get some water. Yeah, we might as well take a mini intermission break while we're at it. <laughs> So, yeah, especially after that balloon land thing, uh, yeah, I would definitely encourage a mini break right now. So, I'm well, managing you to the Shendo realm. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. But make sure you come back from the Shendo realm when you get the chance. Bad. When we come back, we will come to the rare, nearly never before seen Americanized pilot episode of Saban's Sailor Moon. So yeah, see you in a bit, folks.
Yeah, I'm back. Just have to brace ourselves for the the shit. Definitely bracing myself in supreme cringe. Still, well, I remember that there's interesting a scene like, like how they Amer tried to Americanize stuff. Like you had this, and then uh, an infamous one in the uh, in the Gundam uh, fandom. Oh uh, yeah, uh, that that one. That one. Oh, I still I laugh. I, I still laugh that. It, yeah, I still laugh at, at that one. You know, just how much the guy was an asshole. It's like. Hey, I have this thing that can transfer minds into robots. I know. I'll turn the wheelchair kid into a gun tank. Yep, do that. Yeah, I can finally use my le- Oh, son of a bitch. Why did you give me Trevlin? This is not fair! Well, yes. <clears throat> At any rate, it's time for us to continue this train wreck. Keep it a-rollin'. So with that said, let's start the um, Americanized pilot of Saban's Sailor Moon in three, two, one, play. Just remember, it's an archival film. Renaissance Atlantic presents this shit. Sailor Moon, fuck yeah! Uh, what Sailor Moon, as presented by the uh, band who did War of the World. Our solar hmm. system was besieged. Because it sounds like it. It sounds like Jeff Blaine's War of the World there. Captured the outer planet and seized their jewels of power. Not gonna lie, this this the sounds interesting. Warm. You know, I'm being enticed. Let's see more of this. Come on, Jupiter let's do it. The Earth's moon. This looks good on paper, but absolute, will it do well in execution? All answers say no. And obtain the remaining no with a mustache. <laughs> The royal families of the five inner planets, led by beautiful Queen Serenity, formed an alliance to defeat Queen Beryl. <laughs> As we the show off these plans, and this one we've just seen again. To affirm the new confederation, Queen Serenity... The confederation the of what? ...of her only daughter, Sailor Moon, to Darien, Prince of the Earth. A great celebration was held on the moon to honor... But yeah, the moon now it's starting to get what-the-fuck territory. Moon. 
was surrounded by her closest friends, the Princess Please Warriors, God, no. Sailor Mars, oh, Sailor Moon, Oh, God, wait, what have they done to you? Oh, Jesus, Gary, everything looks wrong. I so look forward to this day. At last, we will be together. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. What's Sailor the friends Moon's from Little Mermaid doing here? With a single rose. He just staring at him with uh, his dead eyes. <laughs> a chilling breeze swept the rose from his home. It's barrel. The evil beast has found us. Our time is finally at hand. Now the dark. I want to believe that you. And I brought the, the Martians oh, from uh, oh, from oh, War of the World. Behold, Queen Barrel and this. Also, um, on, don't you know one of them's on a dead. fucking wheelchair thing of a doodle. Why did you hit me like that? How dare you smack that it's pussy like that? Wait, the galleon. Wait, I what? can't leave you now. There's no time to argue. You must <laughs> look at you that can. disinterested look in his face. Quickly, take the jewels. You and the other princesses must escape with Darien to Earth. But there's no time to explain. You must go to a you place called ER. The there's no time to explain. The also, Guard those are sad-looking boobs. I'd say the vortex. Just there, saying. you can hide in a different dimension. Barrel cannot follow. I will That's find okay. a way to communicate with you. My you God! Oh God! Now. Oh God! The kitty is about to shoot his lasers. <laughs> Destroy them with lasers! <laughs> I'm holding on for dear life. We must reach the galleon before it's too late. <laughs> Seriously, one of them is on a fucking wheelchair. Watch out! Let's see, we got our Asian girl, we got our hot blonde girl, we got a black girl, we got a Mexican girl, we got a girl in a wheelchair, all we need is a blind Look girl, out. and a mentally handicapped no. one, and we have the cripple Claude. No. Well, there goes that ship. That's what happens when you make your ship out of the, out of the finest, uh... We almost have them! Uh, yes. just out of the No, out of, uh... To the oh, vortex. just also wood. Just not oblivion. armor at all. Beyond Oblivion, you said? So but going then it starts to get even weirder. Why have this be a cartoon? What it could be a cartoon and live action? Oh, Luna. Home seems so far away now. Hey, Vic. Vicky. <laughs> For a moment, I thought she said, hey, bitch. Can I buy you lipstick? <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> Sup, sure. bitch. Where are you going? Don't tell me you forgot. Whoa. There's one of mine, my lives. The tan. Oh, yeah. We got to pre-teen the fuck out of this scene. She's got a life in the sky. So many clothes, why? Ah, oh, we always see the montage. sophisticated in black. What happened to Pretty and Pink? Her talking cat Luna gives her advice. The princess spiders step by her side. I. Um, 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 uh, I oh, think no. they just they have the power. Her. Oh, oh no, God, they're multiplying. I am going to find the cutest guy at the dance. And Layla. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah at least. He'll be dancing with me. <laughs> ready to fight all right. for all that now she believes. Sailor, Sailor Moon. She's gonna stop evil forces. We're trying to make... Galaxy. Sailor, yes, we all make a cartoon, but we also want to make a, uh... A, uh, teen drama. Space break. <laughs> Man, absolutely nothing to wear. First world problems, I tell you. It is a first. Yep, a first world problem. Just like uh, what happened in uh, Join the Mod. They wanted room service. Please, cat, save us. Yes. <laughs> no. The cat is the true MVP. After all the abuse that poor cat's been taking, I, I'd say 
that cat deserves to be in a bra. Also, that's totally not a Mattel oh, toy no. she was playing oh, with. No. Oh no! Why? Power of makeup. It just happens. <laughs> just a we sudden transition from live action of the cartoon. The fuck? We that turn into. We turn to cartoon. Gonna save us money. My God! A call. They, they did this. Did they said the sailor the penis Aquaman. or sailor penis? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Princess Warriors sailed to the planet Jupiter on their sky flyers to do battle with Queen Beryl's dark forces. So, this is what I missed the dance for? You guys are in for it, and if I break a nail, you're really in for it. Uh-huh. Now I will shoot a well, laser into your dick. Right here. Sounds good to me, but I think these guys are too out of shape to dance. Why don't we burn off a few pounds? Uh, ah! Why you burn my dick, you asshole? So, so bad. Ah, uh, why do you keep electrocuting us? Oh, I like your style. We're non-union workers. Why are you hurting us? Uh -oh. You know, it's bad when you hear a Japanese anime uh, with the English dubbing. So far, that sounds far more pleasing compared to this shit right here. Watch out! Ah. <laughs> it's just a light tap. Not even a punch. I just just put me back on my wheelchair. I don't want to be embarrassed. This one is powerful. Ah. Moon is hurt. <laughs> and white rose, rose, because why the fuck not? Look. Oh hell, tuxedo mask. Remember, that's ah, tuxedo God. mask, not tuxedo common. They was it was like a common. <laughs> All right. By their powers combined, they are, uh... This oh, she's got fire Sierra. <laughs> it doesn't even destroy, it's it just knocks It's not boxes. very effective. <laughs> ah, why are you hitting me in the brain? I wonder who he was. Two know. plus two is pie. I just don't know. I just don't know. And my job is done here. Duh. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> Stop daydreaming, you idiot! Daydreaming this time, Victoria. Outer space? No, Miss Scrum. I'm right here. On Earth. Uh, could you On not ER. look directly at the camera? Okay. I'll be on watching this and then also uh, the one that we know not name. I'd rather watch the one that we do not name, because at least it's consistent. That's true. <laughs> this makes the the English dub of the ad of, of the original anime look like a masterpiece. Fuck yeah. Yes. Yeah. It, it look yeah, it's comparing it's like comparing this to the to the original anime uh dub. The original anime dub is like Pixar compared to this. Uh my final verdict of this video. I'm banishing you to the Shadow Realm. Much better. Sounds like a plausible answer to me. Be banished to the Black Owl. Well, uh, my vote is... No! Thank you, Nathan Explosion. Alright, well, I think I got just a thing uh, that we can look at. However, uh, before I do, I need to readjust this uh, picture here. Yeah. Because that was the only one that really fell out of place. Now, now we've gotten that out of the way. There we go. All the rest of these should be no problem. Uh, let, let's face it. Um, girls are better than ever, so we're checking that one out next. Uh, from 67... So let's begin this in. Oh three, God, 1967. Two, this is gonna be a tremendous one, shit show. Play. Probably. Welcome to Treeland. Yeah, girls are better than ever. Why uh, else uh, do you think they're gonna uh, wait here? Mike, Treeland. Don't you mean Lothlorien? Yep, girls are better than ever. Our font, on the other hand, uh, still got a bit of ways to go. This is the. Uh, 
This is the prequel to uh, American uh, Dairy so Association. I'm oh sorry, God. what? Why? Well, to be fair, um, if memory serves, they were originally going to call this group the Divas in the Lifetime Foundation. The only problem was that if you shorten it up, it would end up to being DILF. Well, at, oh god. At least they didn't use Comic Sans. Because <laughs> well, I don't think Comic Sans existed back then. Let alone Papyrus. Not particularly beautiful. And definitely not a glamour girl. Yeah, in a multiverse, as far as I'm aware, she's the ugliest well one of them all. Turns the head and catches the eye, even of a teenager. She's physically fit. A pleasure. You can tell because you, you can't can see a bit of muscle tone underneath that fur coat of hers. Lectures, 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 morning till night. They're always telling you what to do. What a democracy. A lot they care what you say. Oh, so they're pretty much uh, describing this film right now. So it seems. Ah, so this is a Handmaid's Tale pre prequel. Oh, Jesus. We're not even an hour and a half into the stream and already the cameraman's drunk. I think I'm gonna vomit. Okay. Oh, no, we're being teleported into the musician of dimension. And democracy. Now, just what is your argument oh, against our what? campaign for physical fitness? Uh, dancing, apparently. Muscles or anything. After all, you know, we're not exactly uh, living in the Dark Ages. <laughs> <laughs> the Dark Ages, you say? Uh. Jeez, uh, the 60s were a different time. Forcing you to do guns and do, um, Amish work, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, how strong do you have to be to be we a... We stand most our lives living in an Amish paradise. Whoa, easy uh, modern does convenient. It. Think for a second. Agreed, this is the age of automation. But toward what end? Ah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, the 60s, where all we did was bowl and, uh, fuller, tennis and to have the time and the energy bowl. to enjoy yourself. Did I mention bowling? Because that's what they did. The bowling. That's our program. Automation, you say? Where's my goddamn robot? Like that. that will be 40 years. No. Like that, 67. That'll be, be so sure of that. 11, 12 a years from that. can be mighty handy. Can go a long, long way. Uh, I want my now, robot. She would get her big, but why spell? Uh, um, what you uh, don't the, do her well, big what? Uh, narrator, is there something you want to share with the rest of the class? So I ask you, when you're left-footed, <laughs> fumble-handed, muscle-bound, and not with it, how does it feel? Hey. Uh, like considering she didn't look upset, like, probably laugh her ass off. I guess I feel kind of bad. Fun uh, uh, of the muscle. Of course, when you're just a kid, cool. that kind of goof doesn't raise an eyebrow. It's even kind of cute. But pull that same boo-boo when you're 16, then you know what? You'll get plenty of attention. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> My God, that chick's a loser. <laughs> there has to be a better way. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, she can't play tennis. As Seriously, we even, our even Donald the Dweeb um, is well, one of the you know, unpopular people at school, and even he's laughing his ass well, off. I mean, you know you got I problems mean, when that hot. happens. Oh, dear. Oh, oh yeah, oh, your oh. school credit is going to go down the train. Class credit down, not hundred. Well, that's what you call a half-truth. Like that bikini's a half a bathing suit. And by the way... Don't tell me she's wearing that bikini because... School credit. It's like street here. cred, but in school. But in school. Uh, why are you removing that? The fun you came for no. and that you're no. missing... We're on Twitch. Do hey, who's pissing that? on my face? I'm gonna get you. Do I have to tell you, every day competition is getting younger. Oh, no. Every day, oh, no. Every oh, no. You're oh, no. Oh, no. Competition's getting younger, and you see it shot. Oh, oh damn! God, no. My accuracy went no. down because he used mud slap. Oh god, the accuracy of this movie just dropped this just that. As far as I'm concerned, this is the yes, life. Right I'm calling. Now. I'm calling services on that guy. Indeed. Is there something going on in this scene? Uh, if there is, I don't think I want to find out the context for that. You exactly. You really mean you always want to be exactly as you are today? 
I didn't mean it like that. Oh, jeez. Well, I think this is the first time they actually broke the fourth wall with their well, video. It seems to me that parents and other grown-ups are always bugging us. They're always trying to show us up. Yeah, they always make us feel bad just because we're 15 or 16. Yes, How dare you turn into a 15, 16 year old? Why didn't I raise it? Just like my mother always says, but she doesn't know. Yeah. Why are you going to be a 20 year old? Yeah. Well, I don't know, but I never really think Parents about Parents just don't understand. Up. Um, just forget it. Yeah, no one ever really thinks about growing up. They always hold on to their fetish dream about running Tell away with I'm Peter wrong. Pan. But it seems to me, oh, oh no, I've always thought about growing oh, up. Oh, we're in the cake dimension <laughs> now? <laughs> You may believe you were. Oh, Jesus. These teenage girls are degrees. suffering a fate far worse than death. The way they're going, they're going to become you? so young that they'll suffer the fate of pre-birth! Then death. Forward this and this. What, they would look forward to being a mannequin? No! Don't do that! No. Then you'll get the movie The Mannequin! Please, woman, let me go! No, you will be mine and mine alone. Oh no, she's hey, aging rapidly. Here. And de-aging. Stop running around that tree. Okay. She's gonna, so what if we do make She's gonna get think too old. It's not such an academic subject you have to study it. Anyhow, what's that got to do with physical fitness? That and what's that got to do with me having a Brooklyn accent? To it. With decent eating habits. I wonder when she gets Break your mouth stage, because this is why we have this beginning. thing. Don't tell her it's come, don't tell her it's come, don't tell her it's come. Ew. Uh. Just look at you. Your daily diet yeah, is something. Probably is still more appetizing than what we're seeing right now. Oh, hey. I could go, could go oh, for a hot dog God. right now if I had any. So we're this is how the Valley Girls adapted the phrase gag me with Pickle. a spoon. Because they kept seeing this scene over it's and over again. Oh, according to you, everything we do is wrong. Yeah, you just disappear. We're just gonna and eat your. Person. We're gonna just eat and show your mouth. You don't. Wrong. Austin it's Powers. Not what you do eat. It's what you do. Oh no. Us. Oh no, it's fat. What's with all these close-ups of people <laughs> eating food? But all of us do have something in common. You feel I'm fat and you should stop eating, you fatty. On what we eat. I'm gonna lives. be honest, it, I think that this movie was an excuse for someone Without to have their, uh, eating fetish. You're selling yourself short. For all we know, they had that weird cake farting ah, fetish, so that's why they were Please God, no the cake, cake farting. Defenseless in the battles you wage. Including the battles against us. Uh, not now, honey. I'm already too aroused this morning. A corset? A diet is your greatest weapon. You must drink more milk. Consume the milk. You must eat more cottage cheese. Consume. Consume. Your tarts more commands it. Consume the milk. Consume the cheese. A sport a day can keep the pounds away. But if you can't think of anything and more interesting that anyone to do with your life... And that was your message from Black Doom from demon. Shadow the Hedgehog. If you won't exercise regularly... If you don't exercise <laughs> regularly, you will be caught. Customer service gonna help you? Yeah, my you clock is warped again. And wanna look nice all day. <laughs> I must wear nine layers. Also, is this me or does this actress in particular look like Molly Ringwald? A little bit. So, her life pretty much is a day in the breakfast club. Just running and running. That's a lot of energy. The other night I went to a dance. And boy, did you ever sweat. You know, after that, you're just plain beef. That or saying? she was literally a marionette and someone cut her strings off. Yourself? And she's dreaming she's a puppy. Rob him of his bone. Cheat him of his snooze. I'm guessing that uh, she is slowly becoming er, learning to give a persona. Oh god. I want to be a doggy! I don't want to be a human no more. In all ways but physical, I am a wolf. 
That's one of the important differences between you and animals. Uh, okay. No, not bad. You weren't born Golf wall math to happens. Hair at rollers. Tennis wall hair happens. Hair Ooh, wall book happens. All about you. You must go to the state college. There's all that schoolwork and everything. Because, like. you know, us grown men who suffered through high school have no idea how stressful high school can be. Good, good for you, Phil. Good for you. Right. But where's that dictionary? Let's see now. Uh, wait, this isn't a dictionary. It's a thesaurus. Oh, well, it'll just have to do. Please, let's have a close-up on this. Education. Education. Eat my dictionary! Of the natural powers. To act. To react. Natural power. To be part of the act. So, the fuck? The if I go to enough school, I get psychic powers? Can no longer consider anyone fully educated until he knows how to keep in the best possible... Oh, so this was written by Ox, the school bully. It really is worth it, too, because you're going to get something out of it for the rest of your life. When you reach that certain age, you want to be active and in the swing of things. Uh, when did this suddenly the turn into the life story of Opai? Oh no. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, how old are you? I mean, uh, I don't want to talk to the paparazzi. Mm, no, no problem. Talking. Sir? 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 Uh, would you be good enough to give me your age? No, I'm... Okay. All people should have the opportunity to learn the skills of sports they can play and enjoy throughout life. Like bowling! Participating regularly in sports and exercise is the most... Let's see, what, what sports have we talked about so far? Fitness. There's bowling, there's tennis, Not there's much bowling, of a life, huh? there's Anybody golf, here over 21? there's bowling, Anybody over 21? there's bocce no ball, there's, football. there's bowling, We've a 25 -year -old there's swimming, there's and bowling... That's you. And you. Or should be you. Okay. Uh, I, I will. Apes I'll all get from men. Fortunately, you won't well, be a teen all okay. your life. Okay. I can. I can get along with the sports thing if we have giant robots that we beat this each other with. This is the best with. time you'll ever have to learn to mix business with pleasure. Rock em, sock Make a move to a good diet. In real life. Train your muscles to the skills. Rock em, sock em, robots with some high stakes. So get off the sidelines <laughs> now. I know. Or, or we got, or we get a bad laser, so we get a late laser but tag honestly, with high stakes. Girls are better than ever. Well, we got our title drop. We're, we're set for life. Also, um, flipping the colors, because why the fuck not? Do you want to give your audience seizures? Uh, according to them, to I think it's quicker. an obvious yes. Okay. Uh, all I have to say, uh, just looking at that thing and trying to figure out the message... Even at the end, I go. What the hell is that? I, I think very we all do, good honestly. Uh, then again, uh, I, I don't think anyone truly understands how the internet works. So let's find out the kids' guide to the internet next. Oh no! So, what year? Um, this is fairly recent. I, I'd imagine late '90s, probably 2000s. So th this is definitely going to be an interesting one. Uh, let's oh, get oh boy. <laughs> yeah, let's get started in three, two, one, play. Uh, <laughs> Dan <laughs> called. They want their logo yeah. back. Yeah. The uh, yeah. brother company is to Deep. Remember? Yes. Make sure we Deep VR. We, make sure we adjust it because we don't want to miss a single second of this video. Deck. I, I know why it's called deck because in the future we're gonna have a cyber desk. On your mark, get set. We're riding on the internet. Cyber free. Hello, virtual yeah. reality. Web. Interactive appetite. Searching for a website. A ah, yes, my favorite of the Star Wars. Take a spin now and again with the tech show. Star Wars returns. Surfing on the internet. Oh no, we're getting sucked into the sun. No, we're getting. The Jamison family was filmed in front of a live studio audience. 
Pirates. Hey there, it's us again. This is my brother Peter, mom and dad, and I'm Dasha. Today we're gonna be my showing dad our is friends more Andrew and Lisa man the basics now. of the internet, and we thought you might want to come along. We're pretty much an cool. example of a now, here's a little background. Family. When we installed internet access on our computer, I got the whole family involved. It's true. Everybody had their own tasks to do. It was a lot of work, but it was really worth it. Mm -hmm. You know, plug now in that I've your on Ethernet the internet, cable I'd rather be on my computer router, than so doing just about anything. It's really cool. The internet gave us a whole world of exciting new possibilities. So I guess this is a story of how it changed our lives. Maybe it will yours too. I mean, we used to play stickball every day. Take the spin now, you're in with the techno set. You're going surfing on the internet. I think that kid will grow up to be a VR trooper someday. We installed the internet on our computer just a short time ago. And I haven't been able to get the kids off it ever since. I don't want you to play the typical computer games that all the kids enjoy. Curiosity for learning has skyrocketed. Peter is constantly quoting sports statistics and he can tell you the best survey spots around the world. Not to mention the improvement in Peter's grades. He's also programming a thing called Skynet. great impact on our lives. But let's remind ourselves this is the kids guide to the internet. And I'm able to pay the bills in half the time it used to take me. And the kids are improving their grades in the Communication skills. Which makes me happy as I would sure like them to go to college someday. Don't worry though, it's still cool. The program is by kids for kids, and it's not just for boys either. You'll learn how the net can yes, entertain you. Yes, girls will learn how to paint their nails in weird and flash games. Pieces. That's and still making questions of sanity. And at the end of the tape, I'll be sanity. back to tell you how to safeguard your computer <laughs> do, uh, so that you can reduce your do, uh, concerns about the kinds of websites game. your children can visit. Oh, God, don't remind me careful. of that frozen surgery game. And to help out if requested. Though I doubt she'll be asked. So let's get underway. Let's remind yeah. ourselves you of Elsa Take the spin Brinkett. now you're in no. with the techno set. You're going Please surfing God on the no. internet. Yeah, let's stop there. But I've already surfed so on the there? internet. Now Linda Emerson uh, called and she asked if Dasha and Peter could help Andrew and Lisa learn about the internet. She's trying to get Dasha. Brian to get the internet at home. Okay, now don't forget to keep it simple for your pals, you two. You guys have learned an awful lot, even though you've only been online a couple of weeks. That's the great part, Dad. It's so easy to learn I and so much fun to play on. Yeah, Dad, Peter doesn't even weeks. have to help uh, me anymore. I did my report on belly. the Mississippi River all by myself. Hmm. Hey, you know how to spell Mississippi with one I? M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-I. -S 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 <laughs> you know, I, I don't know why I thought that joke was funny. Some of my favorite cooking methods <laughs> online. I've even gotten some great gardening tips, too. No wonder you guys are always so busy on the computer. You're going surfing on the internet. <laughs> Dad's just leaving, and Mom said we can have the computer all to ourselves. Hey, Andrew, what's up? We're gonna go. <laughs> We're totally gonna Mrs. look Jameson. at Newgrounds when they're My gone. My mom wanted me to ask you guys uh, to call her. She wants you to tell her more about the internet and why you like it. Yeah, you go and surf it on the internet. Oh, really wait, need it for our homework, but don't We're gonna play that games and stuff. Even though we know that's what right. you really want it. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'm going to show you her. how the play Now, you do. make sure Dasha and Peter show you how they've done some of their school reports and not all that cybernet stuff, how okay? Yes. See you later, kids. Yeah, yeah we can't have you creating sky just yet. Dog. Take the spin, now you're in with the techno set. You're we going to turn it on the internet. internet. Well. Remember. Don't, okay, guys, don't the go first to thing that you need to know is that the internet is amazing you. and it's the changing ether. every day. <laughs> Once you've learned how to get online yourselves, you'll start seeing web pages everywhere. It's the internet. TV yeah, that's what I said. Schools, ethernet. Disney World, even the White House. What's a web page? We put Something the ether in the internet. On. Remember, ha -ha, kids. Very funny. Remember, kids. No, it's, it's whitehouse.gov, not whitehouse.com. Hold on, sis. Let's start at the beginning like Dad did with us. So Andrew and Lisa will be able to persuade their parents about the internet with some important things. Tonight we're going to teach idea, you how to get caught by the start? FBI. Let's start with the basics first. There are three important now, services now, you have to the internet. With Surfing with the, the, the World FBI. Wide Web. Surfing? That sounds pretty cool already. Andrew, don't want my surf Go on, Peter. Lord. Then there are news groups to share information with people. And then there's email. Email. I want I my, really want my 24 7 view of internet celebrity yeah, bullshit. I'm sorry, if, if the right emails contain anything. nothing yeah, about strong bad, I'm not You can even talk with people all over the world on chat lines. We're good. Don't they have chess oh, yeah. games and stuff like that? Don't worry, too? we'll have Twitter and everybody will imagine. hate each other. So, where should we start? That one, that Let's start with web pages. Started, so like first, it. you need to know that everything on the internet Jesus. has an address, and all web addresses start with HTTP colon double backslash. Then to access the World Wide HTTP. Web, you type in www. I would HTTPS now. Yeah. Lion Child. And the next thing you'll type will be specific. 
directing you Netflix. to a particular website, like MTV. <laughs> or you can just MTV. surf the net using oh, a search engine to no. help you locate information oh, on any topic you can think Definitely of. Definitely getting interested instance, now. I used the World Wide Web to search the MTV. archives of the Smithsonian Museum a few Did weeks ago. I also had to do a homework assignment oh. about the Wright brothers for a history assignment. Can you show us what you found? Sure. Well, just the word Smithsonian worse. and nothing else. Could be worse. At least that they're not uh, learning their history from ancient aliens. Oh god, no. Yeah, it'll, the dead doors, it'll be like, we gotta give you an F for failure because you said the Wright brothers made the plane in order to fight some alien named Gaboomba. Yeah, we gave you a book report about the Washington Monument. But why did you give me an oh, F? Because you always right responded brothers, every question yep, with they I called missed her the kitty you, hawk. my dick So that it. means we can visit most any museum in the world without even leaving home? Not just museums. You can go anywhere on the net and access resources from around the corner or to the most remote regions of the world. Now that's amazing. So where else can we also, go? Also, we're supposed to be the ones Wanna learning, write a letter? So why are you looking uh, at the camera? Would he answer the us? Enemy. I bet he would. Where? Let's tell him how much we love the internet and that he should try to get more computers for our schools. But how do we even look up the White House? You type www.whitehouse.gov. Remember, it's .gov. If it's .com, then to her, and you see naked people, you're at the wrong place. <laughs> I thought this is the like White House, not the books. White House. Only it seems house. more real. Like we're there. Like to grab a hold of is this like stick? sending email? <laughs> it is sending email. Dear I am the real Mr. Final Fantasy President, Seven. my name is Peter. And my sister is Dasha. And you're the worst. Our friends Lisa ever. and Andrew <laughs> came over today. What is that true? Sincerely, oh, this Andrew, timeline. Yes. Lisa, uh, give it a couple of years. It'll be something Peter completely different. And Dasha. Wow, that's really neat. Exactly but how can we get the internet on our computer at also home? Ends with you're going on the internet. Remember how Dad said we you should start with the basics first? Yeah, yeah. That's true. Well, to get started, you'll need to get connected to the internet. You do that through an internet service provider. An internet service provider? What's that? It's a well, service usually that we call them by the com internet crap, through special uh, super like high speed lines. <laughs> Your parents or teachers can help you figure this out for you. The easiest way is to use an online service provider. They give you free disk to install, and it only takes a few minutes until you're online. And we can do it ourselves? Yeah. You'll be led through a series yeah, of screens for the installation of the software. Yeah, you can do it yourself. You can tell They make it the simple, and they even have a helpline if you get stuck. Uh... Uh, was this from the era of uh, horrific You'll need to type in your noises. name, address, Dial and credit card probably. information. <laughs> be sure to ask your folks for permission to it's use it. But the one thing we learned is that if your computer is having other problems, make sure you get them fixed first. Otherwise, if you're having problems when you're installing your internet disk, you won't know where they're coming from. So we install the disk and we could go online immediately. Does your computer have a modem? I think so. My grandpa bought it for us. It has all the latest high-tech stuff. Uh, it sounds like it should be pretty moment, easy you for you modern, then. So I but you might get your folks to help just to make sure everything's working okay. Yeah, because I remember when Dad installed ours, get he backed Google up all of our computer data help. so that if there was a problem, it wouldn't get lost. And then there was something about fragments or something? That's right. Dad had to defragment the disk, too. I'm not really sure what that is, so you so better get the So why are we bringing this up? I don't know. Get your You're going computer going on the internet. I honestly was well, not. Well, now uh, it's time to get <laughs> online through our internet service provider. Here we go. To get online, you need to type uh, uh, in your password. On second thought, that was Comcast. Since your so internet service provider is like your own post office box, you need to access it with your own private code. Tile of networking. Oh no. Now we need to open our browser. What's a browser? It's an application that allows you to access they didn't have all the of the demonic noises. information on the internet. Of course. Microsoft Internet Explorer came That's with our computer, at all. but you can download it by typing www.microsoft.com. Compact. Ah, good old, good old Compact. 
into you know the other popular browser, Netscape Navigator at www.netscape.com. Okay, so tell us, what does download mean? That's simple. It means to transfer a file of information it's from like the main upvote, computer or server in this case, to your you're computer. Downloading it. So download. once you have loaded your browser Stop or download. Download. Download your computer, computer. you'll open it and it will give you a selection of search engines. And now's the bit when they get to the board. Or what do search engines do? They search the net looking for the information you requested. Cool. So that's how you get connected to the internet. And the search engines will show us all the millions Let's of pages of Google websites and chat lines and oh, games wait, and everything. It's all right here at your fingertips. How do we decide which search engine to use? They all have similar information, but they organize it differently. Everyone has their favorite, right, Peter? Yep. The yep, search Google engines was just a, a different twinkle in a madman's eye back When there. you decide what you're interested Indeed. in, you click on the topic from the menu. Or type in a specific web Canada. address or word to identify a particular topic. Then the search engine ah, links you to your selection. Version. Yahoo, I've heard of that. So it's a search engine, right? <laughs> can we look at it? Sure, we just click on it and the next thing you know, you we'll be surfing the net. if you want more questions, you can just ask Jeeves. No, wow, seriously, look that's at all the, the choices. Domain. Yahoo. Yeah, yeah I actually don't Yahoo know that website. Okay, kids, who wants to get involved in some Yahoo Okay, okay, <laughs> so where would you like to go now? Surf in the net. Okay, first we need to select a topic from the menu. Where would you like to go? Let's check the out the CS188 astronomy. version of this. Oh, I remember that. Oh, yeah. That was Why a flash. astronomy. Isn't that what they call Twinkle down at the bar, the Star Hustler? Is that the Jupiter? I think it was. These are the sites we went to. Um, That's easy. Yeah, don't know What's much next? about that otherwise. I need to do a school project on ancient Egypt. Would they have anything on it under countries? Let's see. First we check What's around the like world. Next countries and there it is. Egypt. Yeah, we check countries and uh Amazing. What, what we they have everything cultures? I need. Look, you can even write your name in hieroglyphics. Can we try it? Uh L I S A, right? Right. Okay. Can we do something fun? Maybe play a game? Well, let's bookmark the page so we can find it real easily. Uh, in that case, all we have is just solitaire and uh, space cadet pinball. There's nothing much left. Let's go back to the Ahooligans homepage and find a game. I bet you one of the first things they're going to talk about is solitaire. Hmm, potentially. Or chess. They sure have a lot of them. <clears throat> Too bad we don't have time to play them. You're right, Dasha, but the tour was awesome. I can't believe how easy it is to surf the net. So let's review a few of the <laughs> just to make sure I understand them. First, we need to get an ISP, or Internet Service Provider. It connects you to the net through high-speed lines. Then, I download or install a browser that allows me to view all information on the net in my computer. Right so far? Then I open my browser to a choice oh, of search engines if you that look at menus of almost anything I can think of, whether it's my project on Egypt or Andrew so playing games. Trying, it sounds final. complicated, but really it all happens behind the scenes, so it's easy for you. And you're right, you can find anything from planning a vacation to MTV or real-time live audio. The net is fabulous. This is fabulous. What are web addresses? Web address. All websites have addresses, even the ones we just looked at. So if you know the address of the site and you want to go directly to it, you just type in the address. The web addresses follow a simple format. As I mentioned before, they all start with HTTP as the beginning of their address. Then additional information helps the browser locate uh, the address the you've selected. HTTP. For instance, the other day we typed in the address for Cape Canaveral. But where did you get that? We just figured it out. Look, I'll show you. We're not going to actually we show it, it, but we'll oh, just wait. assume that was it. 
Mm -hmm. A lot of addresses are easy to guess. If they're very well-known places, they probably just use their name. And then you only need the last identifier. The typical abbreviations go like this. .com for commercial, .gov for government, and .org for organization. I can't believe how easy it is to get onto the internet. When you hear my parents talking Never got about it, it sounds like it'd be so hard. I told you it was cool. Or perhaps the forbidden... You're going to on the internet. internet. I saw something about news uh, and me, I this online. Net, Can you look no up newspapers too? We always Should have we... a social studies test on current events. Yep. The internet has news lines that give you up-to-the-minute information from the Los Angeles Times, CNN, the New York Times, and the Wall Street Journal. Even before, back then, they knew Fox News was not back the news. And before uh, Tuckle Carson uh, complains about this, like, they don't like Fox News! Yeah, so let's talk about Star Wars Returns. Twenty years later. Twenty years later. It's been a while, but yeah, I do remember CS188. And again, you should bookmark these locations in your browser so that you can go to them really quickly, like we did before. Hey, Andrew, what about that report you have to do in science class about light and what makes colors? Oh, I was trying to forget about that. But I think it will be fun to look it up on the net. I just type in light and color and see what we get. Will the internet mess up my TV? Probably, but don't worry. TV will At least you don't have to study the anatomy a of a frog like we do. Anatomy of a frog. You, uh, Pepe. Or something. What is a rainbow? As a person in the LGBT community... Can we look at my frog, too? I can get a head start on my homework. I'm so glad we don't have to dissect them like they did in the old days. Aw, why wouldn't you want to dissect a frog? That's the best part. Please don't kill me. Don't worry, little frog. I'm going to turn you into a cyborg. Because from the no, moment I understood my that? flesh. Show me so I can come back to it later. Lisa, either we're going to have to <laughs> get Dad to install the internet right away, scene. or have Mom take us to the library to use it. And I'm sure Mom will talk Dad into it, since she hates chauffeuring us everywhere. And there's so much more you can do. Hey, gang, here's a cool site you want to check next time you go into the movies. They have hundreds of movie reviews, and it's free, too. Pathfinder, huh? Not quite the um, Dungeons & Dragons-esque game that I remember nowadays. Mm hmm. Seven, 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 Phil. Constructing a bomb to decimate your pathetic neighborhood. Or build a clock, one of the two. No, no, they don't have the anarchist cookbook on there yet. Besides, from what I'm told, the anarchist cookbook is actually full of a bunch of fake information that'll actually make you blow yourself up. A hundred and one Dalmatians. God, that takes you back. And you can also check out I the latest on TV. I bet none of those are actually around. Nick at night. Cool. Nick at night. That woman has a gun. And Mr. Ed is apparently poking its head out of that TV box. He's got a gun. Open fire. The Ed Sullivan Show. I'm going to Hawaii if I gotta swim all the way. Oh, hey! Is he, uh, Aizen's, uh... Aloha, Wilbur! Look! No hands! 
Oh my god. Yeah, this is a lie. It's all starting to make sense. You just typed nickatnight.com. Hey, you said you'd show me the MTV website. Would that just be mtv.com? Yep. No, you ah, do MTV. this. It's Back. mtvonline.com. Back when they Where actually else had would you music. think it'd be? Ah, uh, MTV. Back when they were good. Type www.com. Someone said you could order concert tickets over the web. <laughs> is that true? Sure. <laughs> My mom ordered tickets from the net to take me to the Russian ballet for my birthday. I look uh, yes, well, my, my favorite ballet, well, Bush. That site is still around. Also, I wonder if this was all shot in Florida. Not saying, just saying. And here's another neat thing you can download off the net. Free screensavers. Really? You show me how to do that. I hate viruses, Trojans, malware. Yep. All sorts of stuff. Just waiting at your fingertips. And you know what's the best part? They even come with their own catchphrase. Wanna become famous? <laughs> you, uh, I'm guessing the kids want to, to learn how to do Windows destruction early. Ladies and gentlemen, Joel's uh, origin story. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's so slow. Uh, unfortunately, no, but I cannot show parents, that off. Speaking of parents, our mom is going to be here in a few minutes to pick us up. Well, quick, before you go, this is one your dad will love. It's sports news, and they have all the latest stats and scores. My dad usually looks up www.sportsnetwork.com. We won't actually show that uh, address. You'll just have to take our word for that. You must go to ESPN. Lisa, that would be a good one to show Dad. That but in all seriousness, why I've gone? Because um, and that's I don't not the only site with sports information. There are uh, tons Christmas of them. Christmas, because this is supposed to be a jolly holly time, not to suffer the winter blues. Especially after Fun in Balloon Land. Yeah, I definitely gave someone a case of the winter blues. Oh, there it is. There's Fox. <laughs> I know I know. you said, oh, there's Fox. I didn't hear that at the end, so it's like, oh, there's Fox. Well, let's Fox. say I want to use email. <laughs> you know, email is still the number one use of Which the be internet. fair, nowadays. It's that's easy to set up the email program provided with your online software. And it's really easy to use, too. You just type in the name of the person you're sending it to and your message. What could be simpler? Why does this theme sound like it's from a bad Doom clone? Possibly. And here are some places you can get free email. www.juno.com and www.mailzone.com Defunct? What about if I want to do my own homepage? Now that's a big project. You'd what about get if I want to become you. famous? But you can get a head start at viruses. MySpace doesn't exist yet. Durr. No, clearly uh, she's going to create her own webpage. It's called OnlyFans. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Don't worry, she'll start deviant art. Hey guys, Andrew and Lisa's mom's gonna be honking any minute. Better pack up your stuff. Thanks, Mrs. Jameson. Oh, well, you're welcome, Andrew. So, did you learn anything important today? Are you kidding? I can't go another day without the internet. Peter showed me how to look up all the information I need on my school project about Egypt. Great. We looked up school stuff and Don't worry, MTV. We'll just plug oh, your... really cool. Well, good. Don't I'm worry, glad we'll you got some of the important the stuff internet, done before you went to the games once and MTV. Once the uh, neural link is available. We did, what? Mom. We looked all over Egypt, oh, Cape okay. Canaveral, dissecting virtual frogs. We've been very busy. <laughs> well, I'm sure your folks will it's get a close soon like enough. It's almost like for 12 hours. We've just been it. standing the in front of this computer screen. Homework and games. And I use it for new recipes and gardens. We should go and Mr. Jameson gets up to the minute mm, stock reports, and I could go yes. on and on, but 
But you better get going before your mom. Damn it, can't get your it. asses in the car already! That's definitely cool. Thanks, dude. Bye. Absolutely. <laughs> See you on the net. Call me the minute you get an email address. Okay. <laughs> and Andrew, <laughs> we can play interactive games. Did you know that I died together. on the internet? Yes. Bye. Well Bye. play Unreal Tournament. You're going surfing on the internet. All right, we should have talked to As them about parent, internet safety. I've never been happier Shit. than well, my children asked their friends over for uh, internet. Should we talk, talk to them about like internet safety, about safety to begin safety, with? Though. Yeah. You have to remember, the internet is not a regulated environment, so the quality and accuracy of various informational offerings can differ there. quite a bit. There may even be a concern if your children should access Just make some sure of them. To avoid Fox so news. go online with them on the net. Or set your Microsoft Internet Explorer browser to only accept G-rated sites. Well, how did our kids do as cyber teachers? Well, they were big stars, of course. Oh, but honey, did you know you could dissect a virtual frog on the Internet? Ooh. <laughs> oh, did you get oh, those man, Rolling so Stone concert tickets? Were and the whole family can go, right? I mean, you can buy tickets online. I don't know. What do you think, kids? Yeah. Surf's up. See you on the net. Gosh, on the mark, pathetic. get set. We're riding on the internet, cyberspace the internet. set free, hello virtual reality, in interactive appetite, it almost searching sounds for like a website, a window to the world, got to get online, free. take a spin, now you're in with the techno set, you're going surfing on the internet. So let's tone it down for a bit, shall we? Dial this phone number. It's totally not a sex hotline right now. Or this one. Go ahead, play Russian Roulette when it comes to dialing numbers. Even try this one. TV.com. Fuck, now I'm going to actually look this uh, up. Okay, seriously. Um, oh. That, that was a bit messed up. Uh, how about we actually have some it's real not. fun before we dive back into what the fuck territory? Um. Because we failed to talk about internet safety, um, we need to talk about safety right here and now. Otherwise, we're going to end up shaking hands with danger. So with that said, let's get started with that in 3, 2, 1, play. This is your focus leader. Make sure your sound is on. Adjust the focus until the picture is sharp. Ah, I know what we're doing. Now, adjust the sound to a normal volume. I can check that gear in a minute, so don't touch anything, okay? Okay. Well, that kid's already dead. I could easily dead. press that switch and he'd be dead hey, right now. Get down from there! You idiot! Get your butt over here! I need Let's someone go. to play Twister with me! Now! Twister, the hot spot. Hey, turn it over! Okay, now get back up in there! What if it bumps that control by accident? You'd be mincemeat by now. What have I told you? You don't work on equipment when the engine's running. Well, I told him not to touch anything. Alright, I guess I wasn't thinking. You weren't thinking? You mean you'll work on engines and machinery and not think of your own personal safety? Wow, you're dumb as shit. Here. Shake hands with danger. Shake hands with danger. Now get out of my thing. You're fired. I used to laugh at Honestly, this is easily the best part about this short. We get to hear this kick and ass theme. I hope it's not copyrighted. Considering it's used on riff tracks all the time, we should be fine. Be careless for a moment. Spend a lifetime with the blues. I gotta start this engine now. Oh, hey, wait up! Yeah, he intentionally jumped out of there. Designed for safety, but they're big enough to hide a man. Her fella. Just about dead, you could have killed me. This mechanic is lucky he's able to complain. He should have protected himself by removing the key. Come on, you should have known about all that. The controls. Anytime You're an idiot. you pick up You're a wrench, reach for a control, use a grease gun, grab a welding torch, or work on any machine. Even if it's using a glue gun. You're shaking hands with danger. 
Now you take the loader up behind the hill where they're working. Now I'll drive up on the road and I'll meet you at the top, all right? Okay, uh, but you know, Cliff, I never operated this model before. Well, but look, right, it's just like being with a girl. Nice you just like. lay them down and have sex it? with it. It's that simple. All right, I can handle it. There's no sweat there. We can, we can take care of it. Okay, all right, I'll see you later. I didn't have the heart to tell him I've never been with a lady. So, uh, well, I played, uh, my engineering simulator so this could work uh, I mean, now I where have fucked a sex doll maybe that's just as good yeah we're good we're good <laughs> Jesus what this man didn't know was that the operator left the lift lever in the raised position so the arms would rise automatically when the engine started. A qualified operator would have known better. He should try to punch him in the face. Is no one in this establishment qualified? <laughs> yes. Chuck Hamlin is no beginner. Before he begins changing an O-ring on an excavator boom, he checks. Oil temperature down. Engine off, bucket grounded, hydraulic lock engaged. Hydraulic okay. lock's definitely engaged, especially in his pants. Oh! Oof. Okay. But now let's tone it down with some guitar playing. Ba -dum -dum -ba -dum -dum. I should put this on the ground, but I'm gonna go up there anyway. Let's see, I got my wrench. This is as good as a sword. I should be good. Now, what them Duke boys didn't realize was that he should have put the power down, otherwise, he'd be in for a world of trouble. But they don't do. Make sure everything's nice and greasy. Don't actually attach a bungee belt on. Nah, I should be fine. Lip. I put I put a lot of pizza grease on this, so this should help. Oh shit! Go! Oh, Game over. Yeah. yeah. Well, time to dispose of the body. But you may damn well lose it all. <gasps> Keep it PG, film. I think this was oh. the edited version. You should have seen it before. They were saying damn oh, fuck shit, pussy ass cunt fuck all the time. Oh, he's Jesus. Dead. Yeah, that man is dead. Wherever possible, the stick should be extended and the boom lowered <laughs> so the work can be done at ground level. Finding that impossible, the next man Girl, used the service truck as a safe work water. platform. <laughs> Climbing with tools can create a hazard. Use the steps and the grab irons. Keep at least three I was points say, of contact. say, if you contact, grab one, maybe two, two feet, you should be fine. And unencumbered. Now, see, that's the problem. He's carrying three, maybe four. Any shortcut well. you're inviting injury. Fact, taking shortcuts is often a quick Ow, road in to my trouble. Eye. For example, consider what happened to Harry Sanders. He forgot to wear a coat Harry has come to work day. with a problem. <laughs> Talk about <laughs> is having a football injured knee operated on this morning. Harry wants to finish this job. Coincidentally, and our last president was named to visit Danger, his so yeah, shaking hands. The operator has complained that the scraper is shifting too slow and the controls are sluggish. In a hurry, Harry pulls only one axle. The service manual says to pull both axles and disconnect steering. But Harry knows with one axle removed and the differential unlocked, the machine shouldn't move. He's taken this shortcut before. While waiting for the operator to return, Harry starts the machine in order to judge the problem. While he waits for the engine to warm, Harry's thoughts drift to worries about his son. I wonder if he remembered to wear a car. Oh, God. I wonder he's either a robot now. Stiff. 
So then he checks the feel of the service brakes. His attention is divided. While thinking about his son, his hands and feet go through motions he believes have become automatic. Again, just like touching a woman. In this absent-minded state, he unconsciously starts case, to steer, looks pathetically jams bored. his foot on the differential lock, and the machine takes off. No. <coughs> well, there goes the house. It's okay, they were going to condemn this house anyway. Lucky for the stunned operator, the machine stops itself. Harry is only bruised, but in a crowded area, he could have killed someone because he ignored safe procedure to save a few minutes' work. Oh, the one day he was, he was drinking fucking Merlot. Ba -do 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 -do. Oh no, I just ran over again! He just I'm isekai at some kid. Days when they come to work with <laughs> so maybe that isekai, maybe that isekai kid was the balloon man. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> job, but the mind is elsewhere. This it's is a cautionary tale. To balloon land. My son and just got invited to balloon land. Another kind of mental hazard. Ego. How you doing, hotshot? Uh, it's stuck in there tight. Did you get that pin driver? No, but I got this drip. Friends don't let friends go to balloon give it a land. Whack. Glenn knows the risk of striking hard against badly chipped metal, but he's wearing safety glasses and Come on, trim that thing, thing out, then you'd be fine. Glenn doesn't want his friend to sneer at him for Come being on, overly Glenn, cautious. You're like a pussy if you don't so, now. Glenn shakes hands with danger. Oh shit, I got attacked by a sniper. Oh, oh, he got staked. Pro he's probably a vampire. And would have laughed if Glenn had insisted upon playing it safe. Well, but he sure looks like Agent 42 strikes now. again. With tools, the time to make sure you have a safe ending is before you start using them. They should be the right tools for the job and in safe. Yeah, I'm pretty scared. sure that man's if Glenn's dead. friend had ground off that mushroomed face, taking care of the tools he uses. He could have prevented that accident. You know, I told him not to do it, but he insisted he hammer it down. I'm trying to save face here. Some old timers think accidents happen only to greenhorns. Hey, Red. I got a bracket on. You want to come take a look at it? Uh, no, let I just learn want the to keep blasting this. Day. Now, let them learn the hard way can be an attitude that results in serious injury. Ah, oh, oh, my bitch. gosh! Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, that thing's superheated. One word of caution from the old timer would have saved a lot of pain and lost work time. And even the old timer can lapse into carelessness. The safety gap is correct when he starts, but he doesn't think about how much he's grinding down the wheel. Well, because um, he took grinding to a whole different level. He gets by with it on that longer piece. right up and say hello grinding wheels and metal are what made ah! oh, oh jesus you know, i'm honestly surprised um you didn't play the sound clip my back. digits oh, so that would have been the perfect time to do so a near miss Due to the mechanics failure to restrain the track okay, before seriously. he unloosened it at a high point. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Here they're about to push because the high Jager, machine Jager, Jager, old man from an old got set of up tracks up onto a new set. See, someone's a fan of With both tracks. tracks removed, the machine is free to roll. On a slight grade, it may just take off. Okay, stop. 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 Stop! Psych, why are you behind the wheels here? Psych! You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, and stop. Don't worry, okay, Captain, we're in the machine, he could have stopped it by dropping the ripper or blade. Well, he's dead. Now, they should have planned proper blocking and restraint. But better still, they should change one track at a time. 
then there can't be a roll away. Have we got going here, huh? Hurry and failure to heed safety warnings can also oh, endanger those no. doing routine maintenance. Despite oh, this is a bad place about to be. hot oil and pressure Extremely. system. Yep. Some optimist always thinks he can get his hand away in time. Ah! Well, I can play it now. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm here too. Needn't have happened. The All things going. Pressure ah! gauges and the safety caps on cooling systems are there to prevent accidents from occurring. The people who shake oh, hands this is another danger, bad place to are those who don't learn beforehand what they're getting into. Like the owner whose brake rotor chamber has been losing air pressure. Hey, Sam! Speaking of air pressure... I got the brake chamber off the loader. I gotta run into the dealers to get some repair parts. While I'm gone, will you take it apart to save us some time? Okay, Bill. But yeah, I guess we could do that. At this point, the service manuals call for the insertion of <laughs> the a threaded tool to hold the spring for. Fuck around and find out. Sam hasn't read the manual. He doesn't know he's releasing I mean, yeah. a force that might be as high as 1,750 pounds. Don't look in there. I'm trying to get that injured workman comp for quite some time. Whether you're working on oh, anything from Phil's nitrogen window, accumulators again, to inflated tires, it even. pays to know the kind of power you're dealing with. Beforehand. You broke my window? You must you die. Broke my the window. gasoline are as old Sorry, as Mr. use Dink. of the fuel. Yet somewhere, somebody is always deciding it won't hurt to use it as a cleaning fluid just this one time. Oh, yeah. Oh, he'll empty the Let's pan wipe everything with gasoline. Uh, yeah, forget Johnson and Johnson. Wipe, wipe your baby with gasoline. What's the worst Meanwhile, that can happen? Meanwhile, the fuel keeps vaporizing. Hey, I've only got about another hour to go on this thing. i got to get that thing washed over there. And I'll be done in a minute. Baptism by fire. <laughs> How did he finally get caught? Well, I can play this now. <laughs> It's possible God. to become overconfident Damn about it. handling dangerous materials. A good reason why oh, safety a instructions man. should be repeated yep. at frequent intervals. <laughs> Oddly enough, Ooh. it isn't lack of familiarity with a job that causes most oh. accidents. Oh, no. Often it's the routineness of the work that makes a person overconfident. Now, Bill Myers is changing buckets. A job he's done at least a hundred okay, times. Boy. Uh, 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 well, boy. Uh, yeah, if he were new at it, Bill would be watching and Let's thinking see, about uh, every step. It right in that position, now it's so the that routine way, uh, that caution that has been right dulled. And it's just slide like butter, okay? Uh, the hole is dry. The pin won't up. slide in. There's no stick or swab in the grease can, but he could surely find one if he took the time to search around. This is the moment. That split second when a man decides between being yeah, I'm gonna quit my job tomorrow anyway, or shaking hands with danger. I'm not one of those robot hands, so I'm gonna do this. Damn beat, get out of my way! No, no, I'll never be able to punch any dick in the face! Just use your other hand. But I, no. Bill could have had the linking members moved apart and greased them separately. It would have been a nuisance, but Bill Myers would give anything to be able to go back and do it the right way. To go back and do it the right way. Give him a hand! Give him a hand! This way you get him 50. Each member separately. Uh oh. There's about six minutes left of this one. Oh god. Ah, uh, my digits! And he should my never have relied digits. upon anything as unstable or crushable as building blocks.
improper blocking and okay we just need to drill a couple holes in here we'll have our new water slide all set up hey. we're dealing with enormous weight and we should never depend upon hydraulics alone to hold it up. I mean, it makes perfect sense, considering uh, crew members drop like flies by the seconds. Uh, they may as well just dig a pit and then save themselves the trouble of digging their own graves. Yeah, the position this truck bed was in without these locking pins in, and you working underneath the truck bed, and it had failed, you'd have had it. So, these pins should be in place as such. It's yeah. Important uh, Zero did that. Uh, did Safety that when that guy did, and the hydraulics fell, and he went. The warning. Just make sure that if that's the case, you always hide yourself so you can repair yourselves. What should I do with this gasoline again? Well, I'm gonna have to out and illustrated in lubrication and maintenance guides. Operators' guides and service manuals. Oh the man, one more slash here. Would have had your smash for this logo. And safety device. <laughs> Caterpillar, I am so disappointed in you. Uh, Caterpillar? I know that you want to give me safety manuals, but can you have a safety manual? Wait, a, a woman for your in the construction field? <laughs> 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 Highly unheard of nowadays. <laughs> and protective clothing helps shield the body from the unexpected. The human element remains. It can lend itself to safety. Caterpillar, can I have a power loader uh, safety manual, please? One. Actually, could, could you just cut the middleman, get that sledgehammer, and bash my head multiple times? That engine's not running. I don't care if it's running or not. You see them trucks? Them trucks got to come through here. I want this out of here right now. I mean, we haven't done anything for the last yeah, two hours. Something's got to be done. So do it now, I tell you. ideal condition. Mechanic Bob Murray is an excavator with a dead engine. It won't start, which means the brakes are locked. Which means it's going to sit right here until Bob disconnects the final drives. Then he'll have a machine he can move. Unless it's a John Deere. Or giving John Deere a Deere John. Well, well, that's just it. It was supposed to be a John Deere. What he could also Deere have, John. but doesn't, is a second vehicle to provide braking. towing it all the way to the shop without help but he just wants to drag it a hundred yards or so and get that foreman off his back and now we're in addition to dueling banjos Losing your arm? 
Losing your mind. Getting shot by a sniper. The National Safety Council would like to remind you that if you see any of these things, burn down each and every last one of these construction kits. Only one person was harmed during the making of this film. Uh, he kind of deserved it. Danger to be There's only one thing left for us to see before we get to our final film. So, uh, d- <laughs> oh, okay. it's, it's that time now. Oh. Want to become famous? I, I, I was wondering when it was going to happen. Let's see Let's what happens. There we go. It was bound to happen sooner or later. <laughs> Probably the most action we've had so far. Uh, but yes, um, even um, that random bot should have learned better and should have shown some common courtesy. And speaking of courtesy, let's learn about courtesy as a good example. And yes, that pun was intentional. Mm. This is a 70s film where the characters are all eggs. Egg so, Exactly. You're catching on. But yes, let's get this started in three, two, one, play. Eggy on the leggy. Oh, God. What the Christ? Someone in... Oh, God. Someone is dying on the xylophone. I will, Mom. I mean, I have no use for this newspaper. I'm just going to school. Not like we're gonna read or anything. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. New ping as usual, I see. New ping. Also, is this a common practice you have to do before going to school? Doing laps around that bush? I like that the entire world is egg. So this, so is, this is Dizzy the Adventurer's origin story. I guess so. So this is what happens after uh, uh, that guy from ASDF movie turned people to eggs. Fuck <laughs> that we're eggs now, we're gonna do whatever we want. Whoopoo! Excuse me, Mrs. White. Oh, he's such a good little egg. It'd be Thank such you, a baby. shame if someone would have well, cracked him Goodbye, pressure. Mrs. White. Goodbye. Shut up, Eggman. Yeah, they're the early years. Baby, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna make you into an omelet. Back then, Dr. Robotnik used to be called a good egg. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, here comes the bus. Did you get your homework done? Sure, don't yeah, I always? Another day. Yep, another day. Late again, Benedict? Oh, be quiet. Hey, Benedict, no need to shove. Man, always tripping. But then again, uh, these shorts always be tripping, yo. Excuse me. Are you gonna move over, Benedict? No, I need one for each of my ass cheeks. Benedict, come on. Come on. Benedict, let me in. Benedict, move out of the way before I crack your skull in. Mr. Pringles! The Pringles man is not happy. Oh god, they're in an egg party. Yep. The whole world is egg. God, imagine getting each of this world. Oh, Jesus. God, this oh. music. Um, I never thought I would say this. Um, 
Can we listen to um, the basement theme from Resident Evil? Somehow that seems far more pleasant. It just sounds like, like uh, someone's having a heart attack while buying a xylophone. Or synth music. Oh, finally, we can hear again. What time is it? It's Mormon time, obviously. <laughs> oh, God, no. already asked me that question. Where are the flag monitors? Do they come now? Oh, geez, if you want to give them that much respect, I think, uh, the flag monitors are this town's mafia. We pledge allegiance to the flag of the egg states of the eggy. And to the runny eggs from which it stands. One nation under egg. Eh, oh, whatever, we're done. Hey, so almost time for class. Hey, Shelly, what'd you bring for show and tell? I brought if you a ask me, Good if you tell me anything egg related, I'm gonna <laughs> smash your ass. Music provided by Young Young. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. No, better yet, it's provided by a keyboard cat. Remember, that's a keyboard cat, not the keyboard cat. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Cuddleby. Sorry I'm so late, but my future's so that's bright, I have to wear a suit. <laughs> oh, God, I need to get laid. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under Sadly, God, the, that the America does not believe in this. Now, roll call. Good morning, Eggman. Here. Good morning. Sheldon. Yes, ma'am. Eggwood. Here. Oh, God. Henry. The puns. Present. Eggwood. Gregory. Here. Robin. He gives here. you wood. Shelly. Oh, give you an Present. Egg. All right, I'm supposed to be going to class right now. I should probably head off now. Here. Egbert, present. Benedict. Uh, Benedict. Egg. Has Benedict. anyone seen Benedict this morning? He was at the bus stop. Oh, well. He where is Benedict the now? Stop. <laughs> he saw his friend. Benedict, this is the last time I'll tell you to be on time for class. Now take your seat. Be on Don't time. Don't make me huh? have those buns of yours sunny side up. Meg, will you come to the board, oh, please? May I borrow a pencil, please? There you go. One, two, three, four, five. I was gonna say, why is one of the McDonald's chicken McNuggets? Oh god, the music. The music's drowning out the voiceover. Dun 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 My brain is farting. Michelle, you did a great A job. I think that is the music that that hears before you lose your hearing. All right, children, line up for reset. How do these oh, no, girls, especially with danger? It's unfair yes. to others to cut into line, Benedict. You can go wait in the corner. He's gonna take this up for about five minutes before he finally cracks under pressure. <laughs> Crack. If you show consideration for others, they might show consideration for you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yep. Might. He says as he will. Leaves. Let's go to the slide. <laughs> Yay, we're having fun on this thing. Careful, children. If you play too much on that, you might fall and break yourself. Aha, uh -huh, I like this thing. Ah, uh, would that be considered an egg roll? Um, it looks like the one is... Got a hole in it. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Oh well. Oh, God, you're right. Hey. Would that hey, mean eggs technically have a butthole? Wow, look at that. Oh, oh no. God, no. He is good. I well, wish I could do that. The spinning well is zero. Man. I'm spinning in zero gravity. Well, you're good, Pinky. Hit it, hooray! Hit it, hooray! Oh, now we will sacrifice you to our god! Talky Tiki! 
<laughs> Benedict, you're such a rotten egg. Oh, that Benedict. Hey, careful, Look Benedict. Out. Oh. Oh, I get it. Benedict was having an identity crisis, so he was trying to crack himself open, hoping he could become a bird. Someone should help. Well, he doesn't care about anyone else. Everyone oh dear, needs a poor friend. boy did too much egg stream sports. But um, bum bum. You have broken now. And now we will sacrifice you. Wait, that's the egg firmery? I, oh, this time I've been calling it the infirmer egg. Infirmer egg. Infirma egg. Yeah, that's how eggs are fixed. Never mind that um, most of the yolk and um, all the other stuff inside the egg already splattered everywhere. But nah, just put a band-aid on it. You'll be fine. Don't worry about the eggshells, either. Well, I'm gonna put this bandage on you. That'll cost $4,000. Uh, Benedict, this is your place in line. Hashtag screw, screw American Health System. Mr. Pringles! Mr. Pringles is gonna secretly murder everyone. That would be this film's good ending. You saved me, hey, so I will save you. Thanks for helping me out at recess today. I, I guess I really learned my lesson. We've all learned more about being kind. I learned my lesson. And courteous. I to also others. can't spell besides, anymore. We both found a brand new friend. So yeah, one thing I've learned is that child abuse is bad unless those children are eggs. In which case, eggs. Ronald B. Underwood and Philip Castle. Is it bad that I initially read that as Underworld? Sadly, Egbert lost most of his brain, so now he he can only do... I shit my pants! <laughs> 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 what the hell was that? Uh, I have no idea what I just watched. <laughs> Indeed. Well, yeah. As we've all learned, um... This time of year is coming to a very, very close end. So, I think it's only fair uh, we end this on a high note, in which I mean uh, you probably want to end up being high after watching this shit. Oh, dear. Uh, prepare yourselves for today's feature film, Santa's Christmas Elf, parentheses, named Calvin, and parentheses. Oh, God, I remember seeing this one so, before. So, yes, um, be afraid. Be very afraid. Very, very Santa's afraid. Christmas elf. Thankfully, this is the moment that I am making my exit as I have to go for dinner with family. Womp womp. You don't get to suffer through <laughs> torture. <laughs> Indeed. Do enjoy. Oh, you know. Or we don't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's thanks time. for stopping on bias. Indeed. Take care. Have a nice night, everybody. All right, later. I'll try to. But yes, here we go with Santa's Christmas elf named Calvin in three, two, one, play. Santa's Christmas elf. His name is Calvin. There is no hops, though. No, no hops. That would actually make this film that much more enjoyable. Just gotta work on the tracking here. We're entering the dimension where people scream. By the and way, all... it's, it's safe to mention, not only did this get a video release somehow, it was also a theatrical release. Well, so that should say something. Well, my only response is... <laughs> but Remember. Way, I hope you love um, the animation you're seeing right now, because um, 
That's the most animation you're going to see in this video. We have a diamond. Untied. Uni oh, United Home Video. <laughs> Untied. <laughs> I wish it was called Untied Home Video. <laughs> See, the North Pole is sticking out. And it's crooked, so it's the Leaning Tower of North. By the way, um, fun little fact. You know the people who are behind the making of this film? Some of them have been associated with Santa Claus and the Ice Cream Bunny. Oh, no. So yeah, no, we're in for some like serious shit. Oh here. my god, the face! <laughs> Is that pastel in another dimension? Let's hope not. I know. <laughs> if that really was me in another dimension, I would be asked. I would ask to die. <laughs> oh no, it's David Hamburger. Dave is going to make us eat his Wendy's. Greasy fat from a double decker. Jen Vezes. <laughs> Dirty brown green. Very, very green. She talks to the green. Like the swap thing. Colored by Capital Lab. We will now take your money. I like that said stills by Supreme Color. By the way, that's not a joke. You think a video would have motion? How many of you grew up with uh, viewfinders as kids? I did. Imagine a film. That's just it was that. Christmas Eve at the North Pole. That's what we're looking Time at here. Time grew near for Santa's journey to begin. The lights in the toy shop shone brightly, what? revealing Put toys it. stacked <laughs> that, that end was to end. And end. Seven of the elves <laughs> worked super fast, making the last of the shiny new toys. Yeah, they're working so but fast, it's almost like they're a blur. Elf, named Calvin. <laughs> They're working Work so slowly, fast that they're sounding like penguins. Lots of noise. Santa examined closely his long Christmas list while relaxing in his favorite chair. He ate oh, a I cookie see and drank some milk stool. as snowflakes Emanation, in the air. Indeed. The reindeer were anxious to begin the flight. Oh, well, that reindeer is super dead. They could uh, I think they're to already the dead. Jingling as they pull the magical That's why there's no sleigh. animation here. They try Soon to pull it off like it moon was would animation. Be rising, and the sleigh would glide through the We're going to put this horse so in there. Hurriedly, oh, the elves funny. made toy after toy. But all <laughs> the elves did uh, <laughs> That elf oh, is uh, getting he something best, under the, the belt. But nothing he made looked right. He was forgetful. Careless the paintings and of them have to do. His work was truly a Why I'm alive. He made a Why Calvin right killed me? Ah, uh, Raggedy Ann, put down. some goddamn clothes he on. Rings on her fingers Raggedy Ann just wants to let it all her out. Her legs were upside down. He made a wagon and painted it blue. Certain some boy it would thrill. But Calvin made a terrible mistake. His wagon had only one wheel. <laughs> that the wheel of destiny. Its, eye. it's the wheel of destiny. There's no the spear of destiny. Of the elves was named Hylic. He inspected every single toy. He wanted oh, to I am a Hylic. I'm going to destroy everyone. For each special girl and boy. I don't know why that thing I did went arrows. from Irish to, well, inspected to a swing. Italian. Poor Calvin whittled the arrows much too short. Wait, wait. And the long no. bow had no string. I know. Oh, I wanted to suffocate. But there was work to do. No time to waste for a break. 
Oh, you, you will work or I will break your leg. Get to oh, work on no, fixing these bows and it. arrows now. Schnell. Tyler counted the drums, dolls, and skates. He'd never uh, seen so many toys. Why that doll is half white and half black? Last year. Oh, so Me, apparently they shrunk down as many Michael Jackson. girls and boys. <laughs> <laughs> Every year more children. I'll only have enough toys oh God, for the really looks super good That is a uh, Now let me see. That's the face of Sam Santa ready to destroy you. Year. My little elves are working very hard to make toys for everyone. But each year it gets harder to fill the all the orders. Of the wagon unavailable for Oh my like. goodness. Look at this time. Noticing he, he, the hourglass. He hears Santa Freddy in the background. Also, time was those away. Not another moment could uh, be wasted. Who's ready to man, suck some dick? Playing Night at Freddy 14. The grains of sand trickled downward as Santa rushed to find his suit. He looked funny, hurrying toward the closet. For Santa wore only And you're looking at his foot, foot because I am a foot <laughs> fetishist. <laughs> Jesus, those lips. Little Calvin quietly. He looks like a corner, weird sex doll. Preparing a large <laughs> teddy bear. He was sewing one of its blue stuff. Or the tagline for the Santa one sex doll is oh, Holy shit! Highly closely inspected Calvin's work. That was that Ben Drowned? All the Oh no. Also we found oh, no, a cocaine bleeding. stash. Calvin looked up to see Hylic's face turn red. And wish you keep he failing. Could hide. No, I couldn't afford pants for Raggedy Ann. What's with you, Nudnik? Oh, My he's shop rushing. Makes beautiful toys. Everyone but you, that is. I've told you all year. You have to pay attention. Say something. I'm uh -huh. sorry. You'll I make really you'll make toy pad. Go to Gulag. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> Purpose, he said. Tostad. Yes, they were accidents. There have been too many accidents. Uh, Every two minutes, it's what? something else. I like what happened to your eyes. Ridiculous dog. Uh, I like when, uh, I like when uh, Calvin uh, hit his Useless. dick with a hammer. Calvin, you just don't pay attention. Sad Christmas. Now I have no other alternative but to fire hey, you. What am I, what am I doing here? Tonight, but this is your last You're now day. fire. You will now Do go to to Ukraine Calvin? and fight. You're fired. Large tears slipped down Calvin's cheeks. If only we could see as them he tears. Being sent away. You are fired. He knew he Oh, that's not a pink slip. Friend. That's just his fortune cookie. And have a miserable Christmas day. Now he will go. Now he'll go fight in war. Calvin loved living at Santa's North. Maybe he'll North. have a better chance it of surviving in the only North. home. He'll be the he first looked one to at die. his friends for the very He'll last time. He'll die in the first wave. And sadly felt alone. I spent the budget on the toys. He Even then, they looked to like shit. Goodbye, Again, spent it on the they toys. They pretended not to see. Calvin knew he'd failed to be one of them. Calvin, Which is why they decapitated him. Ashamed as he. Yeah, he was he was killed by uh, Matsumoto. Hey, well, Santa I decapitate you! When Same for this note. Curiously, he wondered where Santa would send him as he laced his tiny tan coat. Oh, he's gonna send you to the South Pole to fi fight in the war against the uh, penguins. Oh, Calvin, what am I going to do with you? I told you you have to pay attention. You're a good elf, but you're careless. I'm too busy That's right That's almost now to like it. you're not a good elf to you begin with. You go out there and help. If they want you. And we'll talk about it when I come back. No. The barn was warm Get out of here. quiet within. Get out of here before I decide to make you into reindeer deer. food. With tears in his eyes, he hugged each one of them. And tightly held each one near. Unfortunately, he's holding... Curious, he's been hugging wonder, the taxidermied why ones. Why is Calvin sad? Before, his visits were fun. They loved all of the elves dearly, but Calvin was their favorite one. Which is why they're going to puncture him with all their antlers. Calvin, to bound, bound, think bound, of bound. asking to be rehired. Facts were facts with no turning oh. back. 
All of us look at them and go, Shame for this blood! The deer watched Calvin dry his tears as he sat on a bale of hay. They moved closer to try and comfort him, wishing there was something they could say. Don't worry, Calvin, we'll make it better! Stab, 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 stab. Don't worry, Calvin! You'll make a better food than man! Are all the toys finished now, Heilig? Yep. Oh God, Santa, no! One of them. Even the ones Calvin We're wrote. only 11 minutes in. He would There's be a still good another boy hour if he would left. just learn to pay attention. Perhaps I can have a talk with him when I get back and give him another chance. No, we no means talk no. About it now, Santa. This You're is sexual late. harassment, no, Santa. Oh, I am. It's no. Santa quickly checked the last name on his list. Seeing the nearly empty oh, hourglass, no. he it's sighed. It's Saul Goodman. Jumpin' reindeer, Better where the time Saul. gone? Hurry, hurry, to Heilig, he cried. No, so no. little time, That's how so Calvin much will get to do for Santa just call Saul as he Goodman. jumped to his feet. Also, is it just me, or does Heilig look like he's melting? His red coat. He had a <laughs> special schedule to meet. His face Heilig is melting Heilig tried off. to help Santa prepare his clothes. There wasn't a single moment to spare. Hurriedly, he shook Santa's fur-trimmed costume as the smell of mothballs filled the air. The elves began packing Santa's oh, bed. Oh, uh, bag. did you like Fluffy? No, nope. good. Sleigh. We decapitated they him, too. They thought children's surprise and oh, no. when awakening on Christmas Day. The elves packed gifts large and small. What a wonderful holiday it would be. Children would be glad yes, we're going to give them this plane to destroy all of, the of Russia with. The bags grew larger with each new toy. They began bulging from side to side. Finally, the last oh, toy... Don't was talk about bulges. And the <laughs> Please the don't talk about tall. bulges. The elves quickly inspected the now empty room. They examined the bags once more. They knew that Santa was impatiently waiting as the bags were lifted Remember, from the floor. if you fail Santa, you go to Gulag. I hope everything's ready. My, my, I really must get on my way. No, Santa, I don't want you. It was difficult placing the bags on the uh, sleigh. Sucking dick the elves feared they face. were much no, too no, wide. No. They contained so many large Speaking toys, of dick, uh, they wondered your dick which Santa would the ride. They pushed and pulled oh God, with all their those, might, those, trying that, to make uh, the bags fit in fairy tale place. thing with the they wolf never no, noticed dick Calvin noses. Behind the sleigh, watching. First thing that popped in my head was the goblin with the dick noses face. from Metopia. Together they gave oh one my. last big push. To their oh no. surprise, the bags finally fit. God damn it, more of the dick nose. Get the back. shit out of here. Still well, he said he was doing the final push. push, so I think he, we know what he did with that nose. The uh, elves please don't sneeze. For the year. Exhausted, they went away. As little Calvin stood alone beside the deer. Looking don't worry, Calvin. His toy filled we're going to, we're going to uh, rip off your skin the and you can become a... Putting their tools away. They look forward to a long night's sleep and turkey on Christmas Day. Yum. Very good. Very good. Before I go, I must thank all the elves. They worked very hard this year and Except for a Calvin, good dinner that and lazy some rest. Prick. Merry Except Christmas, for Calvin. everyone. Calvin will be Thanks destroyed when I get work. back. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Santa! If you need anything when you get back, just call me. I don't think that will be necessary. Now I must hurry. The toy shop looked neat with everything in place. Each elf sat down with a sigh. Meanwhile, oh. Calvin stood watching the deer, wondering As how his Santa floating made head them was fly. just wandering by. Calvin stood by the deer as snowflakes fell, wishing he could deliver the toy. He thought of the fun Santa must sadly, have when visiting he is, the girls and boys. Sadly, Calvin is going to, to soon die. Of make -believe. It surely would be lots of fun. He looked around, then climbed into the sleigh. It was something he'd never done. Calvin took the deer reins in his small hands as the cold north winds blew. He paused for a moment in his game of pretend, wondering... 
What now would Santa do? Well, Trying time to, to ruin Christmas like for everyone. Calvin threw out his chest yeah. and tugged at his make-believe Ah, uh, he's just going to murder he everybody. Loudly as he stood in the sleigh. There was nothing Calvin feared. Oh shit, I think Calvin just saw the stop! ring. Stop! Stop! I didn't want you to go! Go back! I don't know how to drive this sleigh! No, 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 wait, no, no, no! Oh, he's screwed. Well, what don't you... you worry, Mr. Calvin. We'll help you out. Especially Why this helper help. Oh, oh he's God. Be to me. How he no, could turn no, the deal Mr. Around. Santa's number one. Oh, uh, that's the face. Never that's the face to uh, when uh, and he comes back, back and Santa back looks at ground. Calvin and goes. He shouted loudly as the sleigh zigged and zagged, but the deer heard not a word. The North Wind Cal made He's his going voice to find Calvin like and whisper. put his head on a pike. Poor Calvin couldn't be heard. And there is the constellation Stop! Calvin. Please go back! They immediately renamed it the Bigger Dipper. Oh dear me! Every time I see that face of his, I just picture he's just screaming. The elves had discovered the missing sleigh <laughs> when coming to tell Santa goodbye. They searched all around the snow. <laughs> no, he's ground, just screaming like this. So Hyla gets the new Quan Chi. The That's good to know. Anywhere to be seen, even the tracks were covered with snow. The elves searched and searched the entire place, looking hard. When I get Calvin, low, I will beat they him and whip every my inch fist. Of large red I'll barn, give him twenty thinking lashes. the deer had wandered in from the cold. Oh God! Discovering the barn empty, so they, knew uh, so they fall on wrong, the Federation from Star Trek Troopers logic. Be told. You, I you stole, it, Santa. you stole, you shall stay, Calvin. We pay a ministry of punishment. Twenty Look lashes. Time. No wait. We must Thirty lashes. It. Oh dear me! Ah. Hyling is really going to punish me now. Oh yeah, he's gonna give you thirty stop, lashes, stop. or just keep Please on lashing back. your back until there's no skin left. Oh man, I was to shove a pineapple up my ass for a day. We now they're gonna everywhere. stick it until next All Christmas. Those poor children with no toys. I wonder who could have taken the sleigh. Maybe it was Oh no, a it's big Dick Nose again. Oh, no. don't be silly. There aren't any big monsters. The deer must I'm have I'm totally not a rip off of the seven dwarves. But we've looked everywhere ah, totally except not. up in the sky. They wouldn't fly away without someone at the reins. I can't believe that for the first time in the history of Santa Claus, the children of the world are going to be disappointed. Oh, what a sad Christmas! That is day. a that that is a rape and face that Santa has. Right 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 no, it will be too late. Brings whole new meaning to the term Christmas, Christmas sleigh. The North Pole became the most. Oh God! Every time I see those year, those uh, faces of Santa, I just picture him going. I feel Santa. my manly power Even surging. Even shed a tear. <laughs> the elves all decided to return to the barn. There must be a clue somewhere near. Who'd ever heard of a missing sleigh, toy bags, and all those reindeer? After all those hours and hours and hours of making toys. Highly. Honestly, this film wouldn't missing, necessarily be that bad if there I was know actual, I'm going to be late. You know, what are motion? we going to do about it? Can't you think of something? Even Rankin Bash showed think, motion. Man. What are yes. we going to do? Now let me see. I should just think a little bit. Did, did, did Calvin oh, just turn to Mickey Mouse? Mouse? The North Star. Uh -huh. Under the North it's Star is the North Pole. For everyone. And next I'll to the North Pole is Santa's house. I'll make so them play Disney Plus to get Christmas. I'll uh -huh. find Santa's house. Following the North Star, Calvin breathed a sigh. The right direction he found. The deer began gliding slowly downward as Calvin saw the snow-covered ground. Sadly, he is, sadly distance, Calvin, Calvin is not wearing his sunglasses at night. Smoke from Santa's chimney drew near. Closer they came to the bright lights in the toy shop. There had never been a sight so dear. Soon the sleigh runners touched the ground, sliding through the cold, deep snow. 
Why the not deer see? stopped quickly in front of Santa's house as Calvin wondered, did anyone know? Calvin noticed the loose rope on the toy bag as he looked for a place to hide. Quickly, he pulled oh, the top wide be careful. open and nimbly He's going to hide in there because if, if, if Santa finds him, he's going to get pistol whipped. Mmm, pistol, pistol whipped. Whip. Hurry, Santa. The sleigh's in front of the house. It just appeared by magic. It just Maybe appeared. Maybe the reindeer ran away by themselves. They wouldn't do a thing like that. They've never done that before. We'll solve the mystery when I get back. I haven't a moment to lose. Now I must Why see there's all no animation? the good You see, they just didn't care. Santa was care. concerned about leaving no, the place. No, 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 no. This film was uh, funded by the sleigh. government, and we all he know knew what he the must travel does. faster than ever before. Due oh, yes. to the unexplained I'm the delay. I'm the government. Merry I'm Christmas, the reason everyone. Nothing work. Higher and higher, Santa That's guided why the deer, no darting through the darkness of night. Unknown to Santa, Calvin secretly hid in the toy bag, going on another unexpected flight. Don't worry. Merry Christmas, When he finds everybody. out that Calvin's there, he's going to jettison some weight really quickly. The elf if you know what I mean. The had returned, and Santa could deliver the toy. It would be a merry Christmas after all, for thousands of girls and boys. But not Let's millions. Let's go to bed. Merry Christmas, men, and thanks for a good year. Oh no, Heimlich, no. It is going to be a glorious he's going, he's going to have He's going to have relations with that, with that elf. Time was drawing oh, near God, no. first stop. As the sleigh drifted and you'd toward think the ground, that the story would end Calvin now that um, the, the sleigh has been returned. Fearful of being found. No, no, there's still 50 minutes left. Merry oh Christmas, my everyone. Me Santa oh God! The chimney soot from 50 his minutes up. Then slipped shiny ice skates ah! into the tree. The gift was for a little <laughs> Canadian boy who'd been as good as good can be. Santa entered the second house through a window. It had no fireplace. Oh no! And someone He's had burglary. locked the door. Upside down, Calvin dared not yell when accidentally the bag was dropped to the floor. The children next on the list lived in yeah, a house of Yeah, Calvin's ice. going. It was an ah, igloo, large and warm. But very Santa quietly. Gave oh, uh, a pair of apparently, boots, um, a sled, and a reindeer charm. Yeah. One of Santa's stops was the a end of the world game home. as Santa disappeared. The tree was decorated with different wedges of cheese. As he placed the toys, Santa nibbled Why he gives star, them cheese? And the strange odor made Santa sneeze. Santa then entered an oriental home. His journey had been six hours long. When placing the gifts, he heard a loud noise, which was only a large brass gong. Oh yeah, no, th it's this the film game. is totally not racist at he all. He visited a home called an totally. orphanage, leaving the, the, 20 The geisha is going to kill gate. Santa. He then, then filled 20 stockings and departed for the United States. As soon as he enters, you just hear the, the te theme song visit, from Santa Team America. The last stop. He was Star so exhausted Fuck he could yeah, hardly Disney see. World. Fuck yeah, he Batman dropped Beyond. his bag Fuck as yeah. he sat Fuck down yeah. to rest beside a colorful Christmas tree. Upstairs in her bedroom, Kim, uh, a little girl, could we left. Not she was show dreaming shot of what Santa would bring, snuggling closely uh, to a brown teddy bear. Why there's a... a is that, dog, okay, why Kim. there's a real person while she everyone's a puppet? Stockings hanging in a row. And what's with that with demonic ass toe puppet toe <laughs> Even in dreams, she could hardly wait to the discover the I'm gift going to under the eat tree. your brain. Let's see, this year for Christmas, you're getting Annabelle. Oh, shit. The last of the toys oh, had been God, orderly Oh, God, Annabelle's pre-history. Pre Santa could hardly stay awake. Accidentally, Calvin had been removed from the bag and given as a gift by mistake. What? Kim slept soundly oh, as dawn boy. drew near. An elf sleigh the was slipping away. Little did she know she'd be the Congratulations, only child elf! You are now world. my surf. 
to receive an elf on Christmas Day. Woo woo! Merry Christmas, everyone! Help me just Merry please Christmas let me use the bathroom. No, you're my elf, sir. Life. Now wear this diaper. You will learn to shit yourself so I can clean that mess up. In fact, I'm not even gonna clean it up. You will. The lights on the tree saw. Oh the no! Tree. Calvin was quiet as a mouse. He wished he was back at Santa's North Pole. He didn't like being in a stranger's house. Sitting on the floor, Calvin began to cry as a tree bulb lit up his ear. If only he hadn't hid in the toy bag. He knew he wouldn't be here. Hey, that's all on you, Calvin. Santa directed the deer and sleigh homeward as he watched the dim light of morning appear. He was glad all the toys had been delivered at last. <laughs> How's it going, and it would be a merry Christmas this year. Oh, when I get back, I'm going to give uh, uh, Mrs. Claus a, a special gift. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, Now I'm really going to go to bed. Oh, oh no, it's a dick nose man again. I can't remember a Christmas that came so close you to You have a dick happening. nose? Well, then I best get to suck in. <laughs> Calvin knew he would soon be discovered. Desperately, he wondered what he should do. Could he hide somewhere? Or perhaps run away? He knew his choices were few. He looked at the toys, so quiet, so still. Then an idea entered his mind. Why, he just he'd farted. pretend to be one of them. And an elf doll the children would find. Dear Santa Claus, uh, I've been a very good girl all year. Meanwhile, the my Totoro is there is like a swing soon, and some coloring books. If you don't think world. that's too much. Specifically, Cool Al, we are Merry watching Christmas. Santa's Christmas Love Elf him. parentheses Calvin named Calvin and parentheses. He tried to look sort of dumb. Yep. He crossed his legs and made his arms limp, pretending to be lifeless and numb. Christmas morning had finally arrived as the excited children examined the toys. So this is what I Their get. Parents no Polly <laughs> Oh, wait. The, hold the, the fuck noise. on. That's supposed to be her mother. Oh, look what I Looks got. far more like a doll than Calvin does. Doll. I'm going to be look honest. I looked at the mother's me. like, uh, so we're in the Stepford Wives universe? He bring a thing like that. <laughs> Somebody else gave it to you for Christmas. Where did Kim get that, Mother? I don't really know. I guess Santa Claus did bring it. I think he's sort of cute. Don't you, Kim? Ow, oh, Jesus. Yes, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's just what I want. I feel bad dog. for that little cat. It looks like they've been bludgeoned to little death. Little Kim took Calvin into her arms. <laughs> she felt Sherry and Robert were being unfair. It didn't matter. Her doll wasn't perfect. And she pretended not to care. The gifts were but that's scattered basically about a look the room that says, the children no played with Polly Pocket this year, not even King an easy bake oven. her new elf doll while examining an unassembled swing. <laughs> Stop showing us the fucking mother already. Jesus. It, you can definitely tell she is an android. Funny looking. <laughs> look at those funny legs and funny ears. He's not funny looking. Uh, I'm says the lady nice. that has a, uh, bludgeon to death cat for a I'm toy. Glad Santa Claus <laughs> Not to me. mention buck teeth for some fuck-off reason. No, really really Thank you well. for the points! I wonder where Mother and Father got that silly doll. Sherry laughed at Calvin's short little legs. Robert you got... Fun of his she long got long it long from, long from long shut the fuck up! were hurt because they were being unkind. And she ran from the room in tears. Oh no, Drying the, the her doll tears, sad too. Kim noticed Calvin's hands. Curiously, his little fingers she began to feel. Um, Looking at his face, um, she saw his eyes blink. Oh no. Um, he was no, 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 Her large blue Look eyes widened in surprise. Uh, uh, Calvin knew he could uh, no longer pretend. 
Kim then smiled warmly and tickled his nose. Uh, oh she God. wanted to be that, his that's friend. The face. I'm going to be the face your of friend. possession. <laughs> Thanks My for that line of dialogue. Ben. What's your name? My name's Calvin, and but I'm from the North Pole. But you can call me I used to work for Santa Claus, <laughs> and now I'm here with you. God, Jesus You're Christ! The, the fuck is with her eye? To me. Jesus! My little real darling, we're gonna have That's lots of fun. That's a shit from nightmares. So don't be You're afraid. going to have fun. I'm not afraid. I'm gonna feed you baby food now. Calvin tried very no hard solid to return food for you. her smile. When he saw Kim wasn't anyone to fear. Shyly, he tugged at his little coat, then smiled from <laughs> Somehow ear the to child ear. is far more evil than Calvin. He neatly yes. straightened Calvin's collar, then yep. helped him to his No wonder seat. she got the Annabelle Politely, doll for Christmas. She said, She's just How as evil. How do you do? An elf she was pleased to meet. Calvin then explained what had happened. She listened closely to everything. So then I oh, accidentally it fucked up making Christmas presents, and then I stole this sleigh, and then I got heard. mixed in with the presents, and then, and then. Yeah, he told her about Hyrid and the elves, about the magic deer and sleigh. Calvin described. She also how talks about the mines that Santa have and for the raw material, day. and anyone who fails has to work them. Kim thought it was an exciting story. But yes, she thought it was an exciting story. You can tell sad. by her pissed off look on her she face. She knew that Calvin missed his heart. Uh, she's ready to just tear her Calvin's sorry face that off. He'd been bad. I'm sorry, Calvin. Calvin but I'm going to take your face. You know you should have paid more attention to your work. Look, I ran you away from home just so I didn't have to listen to that shit. I don't need any of it from you. No one can do anything right thinking about other things. I know. I realize it now. Now that it's too late. If I ever get another chance, I'm going to be the best worker Santa Claus has. Don't be sad, Calvin. You and I are gonna have fun <laughs> together. Kim did not believe him and threw him Kim in the back of the closet to Dear rot Calvin. next year to her. She introduced babies. him to her friend, Calvin Mr. died Bear. alone and un unloved. The end. As the aroma El of All right, Calvin. The air. Now I want you to drink this Calvin milk and magnesium. Told Kim he was hungry and asked for something to eat. His stomach growled as she left the room. Anything would be a treat. All I got is piss warm jungle, man. Mother, Calvin is hungry. I would like I to need to, uh, to eat for Calvin. I'm going to give him some booty sweat Calvin? and bust a nut. Who's Calvin? That's my elf that Santa gave me for Christmas. And you know something, Mother? He's alive. Really, Kim. Sometimes your imagination... Okay, is Kim. Time to send you into the mental ward. But it's true, Mother. All right, Kim. He's Time to send you in to become a Stepford children now. In fact, I'm going to take off my dress so you can wear it instead. It's just as good as a trench coat. If you want to have a little street party for your elf, whatever his name is, you may have it. Now hurry with the food as your little Calvin will starve. Thank you, and thank you for Calvin. I guess this is okay. Kim quickly returned to her bedroom, carrying lots of food on a plate. They sat at a little round table, and uh, Calvin ate and The bear is just like, ate. help me, Kim thought I'm alive too, to have and I'm dying dog, in this. One that could walk and talk. She then told Calvin they would play school, as she brought out a blackboard and chalk. Also, the toy can do this. Oh my god, that, it that was demonic a face eye again. Brown. She told Calvin it was a picture of is this, him. Is this just a, a kid or the Eye of Sauron? Down. I was just about to say, how does it look like the Eye of Sauron? Together, they wrote their ABCs. <laughs> this this story keeps going. I'm going. Play. Stop. They became covered with colored chalk as mornings. <laughs> look at you, Calvin. You got Still falling over your face. She, she's oh, going no, to eat it. His... <laughs> <laughs> She's going to eat his soul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sit down, boys and girls. It's time for Vickly to tell you the story of Santa's Christmas something, Calvin. Ah! Why do you let her do that? It doesn't really matter, and it keeps her occupied. You all did things like that when you were little. <laughs> I never pretended I had a live elf. Okay, did that boy did actually have hair, or did now someone just leave her alone as long as drip ink on top of him? 
Kim then produced puzzles from a drawer. A contest mm -hmm. would be lots of fun. Whoever finished first would win the game. Listening, Calvin munched on the uh, Unknown to uh, Calvin. Even uh, now, her father is Chang's son. Apple. Calvin was certain he'd win. And he certainly Kim loves eating elves' uh, had souls. Had Calvin searched for a puzzle piece stuck to his chin. Oh, no, never mind. That's just a piece of meat. The elves had mm, discovered Calvin meat. was missing. They wondered where he could possibly be. It was the they elves discovered that Calvin was missing, shop. and there was they much rejoicing. They even looked rejoicing. under the tree. Yay! They looked under the wide workbenches. And then they went to his house and shot on his glue. bed. They looked at the Tyler bedpan, nothing. In a closet. They asked him like his mouse. soul was stolen. And began chasing it with his shoe. We've looked all over for Kelvin, and he's nowhere to be found. He's so thoughtless. He could have done almost anything. <laughs> From what I thought, no, Heilig said he's, he's so not fuckless. not really that bad <laughs> of a boy. That's not wrong. <laughs> he must be around someplace. You must keep looking. I want to have a talk with him. If it's about rehiring I'm going, him, I'm against it. Oh, I am going the to talk to him. The and I'm going to send him shop. to the mine. And Calvin wasn't anywhere with He'll be forever mining me medals for my toys. Follow. They would search the barn again. The seven elves inspected the barn, searching it through and through. Uh, they is he in this pile of shit? And no, the not there. As the forest the north wind blew. Is that one getting the high? We're searching Santa's uh, house yes. when they entered the laundry room. <laughs> he just Tyler doesn't fucking care. It's like, bag. screw this. I, I'm going to light up a doobie. On a broom. The dirty clothes were scattered about, cluttering the laundry room floor. Bending to pick them up, Heilig mumbled as he bumped his head on the door. God fucking damn it, Calvin. I know you're not here, but this is all your fault. Seeing the toy bag, he wanted to shout. Why couldn't Santa ever remember? The dirty bag should be turned inside out. A piece of All paper right, fell from the we're bag. We're going to kill Santa, I and then we will make a new before. one. Quickly, he summoned all the elves, removing all the All right, this is the fortune the cookie I gave Calvin. He had terrible near, luck. They saw the note. It was last seen in Calvin's hand. Heilig felt sure he knew what had happened, explaining he took command. Also, I think one of the, the elves, elves has uh, hydro as Heilig fever. spoke. Looking yep. at the bag, Otherwise, they imagined Calvin inside. Why, Calvin must have been delivered. He'd certainly chosen the this wrong place This movie's to still hide. going. I'm going, kill they me entered now. entered Santa's room, giving him We're only halfway through. He could hardly believe his sight. Still. Let me out. Let me out. Still. He Kill knew me Heilig's theory was right. <laughs> Poor little Calvin. He must be miserable. We'll have to make a plan to get him back. Santa. No. Maybe I Our plan is going to build him. us a new one. I hope he's all right. We'll make a better I Calvin. Wish. Calvin and Kim began to talk, wondering if Calvin had been missed. If so, could Santa possibly remember the last names on his Christmas list? Nah, he'd forget them all. Calvin became homesick and worried, but he tried not to let it show. Oh, how he wished he was home again, eating ice cream made of snow. Considering everyone hated you, Calvin, Calvin, you're over-romanticizing your home. She could do. I, I think he he's just having, uh, Christmas wish, what's that thing and called perhaps again? it would come true. Kim told him My she having truly a fart. believed in wishing, but only for a very special mm. call. Crossing their fingers and closing their eyes, they wished for Santa Claus. <laughs> Have I been missed? No. In fact, Hello? I already wish I Mr. had asked President? for a hula hoop instead. Oh, I remember. <laughs> I, I remember what I was going to say. Maybe Calvin has Stockholm Syndrome. I must get a new visa to visit the United States. Because one whoa, of my whoa, elves whoa, was whoa, lost. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back it up there. Back. 
I'm Santa sure can easily him. travel and all and over I the world in a sleigh. To wear regular He's clothes. actually trying to Strangely get to the states dressed. legally. Santa climbed into the sleigh. The fuck is this shit? The oh, elves son. liked his foolproof disguise. <laughs> He wore a raincoat. Yeah, you'll uh, definitely blend in with everyone dressed like that. Totally eyes. not looking like a hidden closet rapist at all. I was about he to say, he, he looks lot like the uh, third ZZ he Top the member. And loudly. That's what happened. He'll, just, he'll say, he'll like, need. hey, who are you? It's like, uh, I'm, uh, I'm the, the hidden ZZ Top member. To play. And we then he starts doing that twirly guitar thing. Kim proudly took Calvin outdoors to play. Her elf she wanted everyone to see. But Calvin knew his secret must be kept, and a doll he must pretend to be. The children first stared at Calvin, then began laughing and making fun. <laughs> He'd never he seen a doll much so ugly, and was glad they hadn't received one. Uh, he smells like poo. <laughs> His face His looks like he got in there with like a coconut. A Protectively, Kim held Calvin His tightly, pretending she hadn't like heard like a, a word. One little girl know, tried I'm to stupid. imitate Calvin, appearing to look lifeless and numb. Yeah, then a little boy lifeless. tugged at his ears, making fun of the doll so dumb. Poor little Calvin wanted to yell. But he dared not make a sound. He wished the children would go away, but instead they're pulling he his ear. He's going. The children laughed and pointed at Calvin. Ah, my bones! The funniest sight they'd seen. Although their ears. Kim became. If it was his arms, then yes. Oh, my bones would be appropriate. never been so cruel or mean. Quit that! Calvin's my doll, and he's not ugly. Look at those funny ears. Look at those funny feet. Look, Look at, at this funny, clothes. flimsy plot. They're not silly. He's an elf and I love him. <laughs> How can you anyone love, love a doll like that? I think he's funny looking. Yeah, Everyone so is a jerk. Quit talking like that. He's my Christmas present and I love him. <laughs> Get with the love. Shut Santa up. Santa secretly hid the deer and the sleigh. In a place where they couldn't be found. A place called he Canada. He told them he'd continue the journey by plane, as they listened, not making a sound. Santa finally had reached the large city, as a door-to-door -door search began. Unfortunately, the plane that he they rode on was Trump to unfriendly. Uh -oh. After all, he was a strange-looking man. Oh no! Oh no! Santa felt he'd walked a hundred miles. As he searched the south of town. And I walk one thousand miles he and I will walk one thousand more. DC MAA. The, the blue DC's water rippled MAA. before him. Towering buildings stood to his right. He watched. And he got stopped multiple times team. because they thought he was it the was he was the leader of ZZ top. top. I was gonna say lots of palm trees, the Golden Gate Bridge. Possibly Alcatraz. <laughs> Alcatraz. The fuck is with that? Alcatraz. <laughs> but yes, palm trees, um, Golden Gate Bridge, uh, possibly Alcatraz. This has to take place in Illinois. Santa entered the gate of a large white house. A sleeping dog he didn't see. The dog began barking and gave quite a chase. The dog is very Santa dead. Santa ran for the nearest tree. Santa saw children playing hide and seek. They were having lots of fun. Or one of the Santa girls got her eyes cut open and trying to cover it up. And was surprised by a water-filled gun. No, Santa, why are you doing that face? Wondering where Calvin could possibly be, Santa shook his head with a sigh. Also, probably Someone, sweating like crazy, Calvin especially if he's still wearing that he'd Santa find suit him, underneath. Or at least he'd try. Calvin Help me, my flesh is again, melting. Mother. That doll of yours certainly eats a lot for a little toy elf. He's not a toy, Mother. He's real. He's a real elf, and he's hungry. For the love of Her God, Kim, shut the hell up. Otherwise, you really Kim will go to the, the Thompson Center. Her mother knew Calvin wasn't at all Kid. real. 
It uh, was if you keep talking, I'm taking you to the Steffer Center, and then I'll give you a get a better the kit. Placed on the little table. Kim arranged. Don't be a robot the like me. And eat Calvin, oil. Kim and the little brown bear were quite a trio to see. The bear Calvin is like, ate help so me. Much his tummy bulged. Kim feared he would soon turn blue, but Calvin ate the last crumb on the plate. He oh was God. full. We, now we can add a uh, fat you finish to uh, so much, this. Calvin. When morning came, Santa felt much better. Uh, mommy, he really he had is real. Yeah, sure he is, honey. Now leave His mommy alone while the town's the another father, handful of Valium to make her forget what a burden you are. Santa moved closer, he just keeps on. <laughs> well, he keeps on feeding the elf until uh, the he can't hold it no more, the and the last thing he says it is, is I my heard one boy shout. <laughs> Also, hi Omega, welcome to this shit night, show. Santa, listening to the noise. Next year, they'd be sorry to discover no Christmas toys. He doesn't Save have you. big ears. That's the way elves all look. The children joined hands, forming a circle, securing Calvin and Kim inside. They made fun of Kim's little elf doll as his ears she tried to hide. Calvin became frightened by the children's noise. He didn't understand their teasing. Tears filled Kim's eyes as she started to cry. She's just doing the whole the your soul she wanted is to mine. Run. She oh no, they decapitated, decapitated her! Herself. Sherry and Robert felt sorry for Kim. They distracted their friends with a game. While everyone played, Kim held her doll tightly and in the sand wrote Calvin's name. Poor Calvin noticed at the one of the stranger two. drawing near. He could Actually, hardly considering the color, probably took eyes. a shit as well. Jumping reindeer! It was Santa! Where oh my god, it's Santa, disguise. and he has the need to see. Santa was certain at last oh no. he oh no. found Calvin. No, he's, he's just he here to play uh, music. To play. He's here he to play uh, some also, uh, blues rock. Doll. <laughs> also, hi, Omega. Uh, yeah, you've missed a lot of shit. Day. A lot of shit. Kim, I think I see a friend of mine. See that man over there by the fence? He also, I think my voice actor like changed. Cause that is still not Calvin. He just got here and it doesn't look like anyone I know. An old man with a white beard? He looks very familiar. Maybe we should go over and say hello. My mother told me never to talk to strangers. No, we're gonna stay here. Hello, Kim. Is that your That's Christmas present? That's why we're talking to this cop instead. Yes, sir. His name is Calvin. Isn't that nice? Say, what's that old man loitering around for? I'm going oh, to God. have to talk to him. Oh, oh no. God, no. Right now. <laughs> oh, God, not even the police officer wants in on that action. Slowly, Santa oh, turned my. and walked away. Okay. You better strip those. You better strip that jacket and spread them even cheeks, boy. the policeman who he was, he'd never believe it was true. Spread them cheeks. Why? Good thing that park, this, uh, I'll say this, sad. at least this is in the Thinking 70s. May never if this was modern Calvin day, again. they would probably police brutality Santa. Santa. Never two boys on a bike, oh, 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 no, the playground The boys were older and chose to you play just see, rock. You just see all the batons and they then you just hear Santa going, Ah, oh, my balls! They bullied the children as they climbed on the swings. Calvin wished that one would fall. Kim, I don't like those naughty boys. I Let's hope that they home. fall and they get and they break one their of the legs. Boys saw the doll Kim was holding. He wanted his friends, the dummy, to see. They gathered around and began to laugh. Calvin thought, but dummy's not me. He doesn't have big ears. That's the way all elves look. I don't like those big boys. They always come over here and tease the little kids. Leave me alone. We're playing and we don't want any big boys around. Robert saw the boys were frightening Kim. That's why we're he gonna pop a feel here. Go away. The tallest boy shoved him to and the then, ground. Robert had nothing and else soon, to say. And soon Robert learned about the uh, Sherry that he took may be Kim gay. by the hand. 
She told Robert it was time to go home as the boys whispered a plan. Before anyone knew what had happened, the boys grabbed Calvin and ran. They jumped on their bikes and raced away as Kim fell helpless in the sand. We're going to yeah, take the kid. so upset right now. Bring back my doll. That's my doll. Calvin, don't let them take you away. <laughs> the boys took Calvin to a large field. They laughed about what they had done. Calvin listened closely as they talked, wondering how could stealing be fun? The boys momentarily forgot about Calvin. Soon, he discovered why. They were looking at a model plane, talking about how uh, fast damn, I it thought could I fly. Been a hacksaw. Calvin had never seen a model so big. He thought, flying it sure must be fun. He <laughs> wished that Santa's bag had been larger, <laughs> so he could have delivered every boy one. Yeah, you wish. One of the boys spoke of the plane. It was the best toy he'd ever had. Calvin knew he wouldn't have received it at all if Santa had known he was bad. Oh no! They're not going to do that to me! Oh no, they're going to shove that plane up my ass! Plane? I'm too big! Besides, I don't know how to fly! As shown with the reindeer. Calvin was tied on top of the plane. Jumping reindeer! He couldn't fly! One of the boys spoke of remote control, explaining how it worked and why. All we have to do now is start the engine. We're going to make this dummy the pilot. I bet he'll be the best pilot there ever was. He's a little big to be the pilot of this plane. Ah, uh, don't worry. It'll carry him. I think he's going to look cool flying along. Okay, so cool. hurry up. Let's get it started. Yeah, they started the start. engine after checking the fuel. Yeah, I'm so tired. Calvin was to ride his first real plane. They laughed at the dummy looking so stupid. It seemed they'd given Calvin a name. The propeller of the plane rapidly turned. As the ground disappeared from sight, <laughs> upward it flew as Calvin braced himself. <laughs> for his very first airplane flight. The plane tilted, right, left, then right, circling high above the ground. Suddenly, it began turning over. Calvin was flying he, upside he's down. He's making that noise because uh, oh, every time that oh, it moves, oh, it just look hits at his groin. upside down. This makes me feel sick. Slowly, the plane turned right side up. This makes me Calvin feel could see the my best. Below. Feeling dizzy, he wished it would land, but straight upward the plane did go. The boys took turns taking control as each maneuver Gotta have real crash. fun with this plane. Crash. They thrilled with delight to see the grand flight. He just while crashed the in the ground, and then afterwards they find Calvin's like, uh, uh, "Why this doll is bleeding?" Well, so bury your head then, um. Oh, I'm dizzy! Pat oh my! Look at all the people go by so fast! One boy asked how low the plane could fly. His friend pointed to a tree. Checking the control, they navigated the plane. This would be fun to see. Let's see how close we can get it to the tree. Be careful! Suddenly, the plane went into a nosedive. Its target, the tree on the ground. Louder and louder, its engine roared. It could be heard for miles around. Closer 
and closer. It came to the tree. Calvin thought for sure he was doomed. He expected the worst, preparing to crash, when upward he suddenly zoomed. Boy, look at that. I made it zoom up. Let me try. No, I want to do it. I want to do it. I wonder if after all this, uh, Calvin's going to have PTSD like, uh, of, uh, the like, a, like a sol uh, soldier Meanwhile, coming back from the war. Boys were oh, go gadget, PTSD. Calvin was shaking well, he, he was so af afraid at that Up moment, I think it's safe to say, I sit in my pants. The plane was remotely controlled. He's going to first flying high. He's going to have fear of flying, flying after low. this. Oh, absolutely. Calvin was getting brave and bold. The wings of the plane were spread like an eagle, as through the air he like a He keeps on jet, slamming onto his groin, the and he keeps had going. Never seen anything <gasps> like it. They watched as the engine roared. Let me see. These boys are controlling it from the ground. Maybe there's some way to control it from up here. Suddenly, the plane seemed out of control. The boys were filled with concern. Examining closely the master switch, the problem they tried to learn. Calvin had discovered by moving a wire, the plane would fly off course. Now the boys were extremely worried. The problem was getting worse. And then Calvin's gonna have, uh, while he's having them flashbacks, Santa was discouraged a dodge he for street about. starts playing. He spotted the boys flying a plane. When he saw Calvin, he feared for his life you can see him and loudly off. shouted his name. Calvin knew his wish had been Santa's granted. Santa's getting off when on Calvin's Santa suffering. Below, he pulled and pushed on the wire. Downward he wanted to go. The boys did their best to gain control as the plane circled the sky. But Calvin was determined he'd fly the plane, or at least he was going to try. Also, Jesus, someone smacked that damn fly my, already. My, I think Calvin's gained control of the aircraft. My, my. The problem, the boys thought, had been discovered when briefly the plane responded to control. They watched it closely, with fingers crossed, while nearby, Santa pretended to stroll. Suddenly, the plane began flying downward, heading straight for a traffic light. The boys tried to guide the plane upward. Poor Santa was filled with fright. Oh, look out, it's gonna crash into the street. Look out! Pull it up! I can't! There seemed to be nothing the boys could do. Only Calvin could pilot that flight. As he pulled on the wire, the plane tilted upward and by inches missed the light. Calvin then crashed directly into Santa, killing both of them instantly, and Christmas was canceled forever. That is why we curse Calvin's name every year on Christmas and throw paper airplanes into open sewers in celebrations. Paper boats included. The end. Santa stood watching in absolute disbelief. It was a miracle before his eyes. He scratched his beard as he wondered, had Calvin made the plane rise? All through the sky, the model plane flew. Calvin knew it was Santa he had spied. He pushed and pulled on the rudder, and the plane weaved from side to side. Okay, seriously, this the scene control, stretches on for fucking confused. ever. When will it end? Its signals were totally dead. The plane should have crashed long ago, but... I'm gonna be honest, I'm trying to, to fight like, falling instead. asleep in this part. <laughs> Well, thankfully, there's only 15 Lying. minutes left. Fun. It's gotta end sooner or later. Learning quickly, Please. Calvin ah. knew how to fly, but was uncertain how to land. The boys looked upward, not saying a word. Of I don't know plane, how to land. I know Calvin only to fly. Calvin taken command. Calvin thought and I'm thought I'm guessing he learned to how to fly from to Arma games. Below. 
<laughs> because I couldn't land and I ended up crashing. Then he would surely know. Well then learn how to crash, maybe then you'll learn how to fly. Out of gas, it began apparently. to glide. Calvin tried to direct it toward the street as the wings dipped down to the side. It was a lucky break for Calvin the pilot that the fuel had all been used. Sadly, he hit really hard and Calvin went. Ow, he landed without power. even a bruise. Oh, Calvin, you've come back. They decapitated me, but it's I okay. Knew it's back on keep now. You very long. Are you hurt, Calvin? No, I had to get control and get back here. Santa paced back and forth, wondering. Now what was he going to do? There had to be a way to get Calvin back. Suddenly, a way Santa knew. Oh, Kim was happy her that. elf doll was safe. She told him she was glad he'd returned. Calvin asked her to please listen closely, and his secret she soon would learn. Now, Calvin, you must tell me everything. All right, but you'll have to promise never to tell anyone else. While I was flying, I saw Santa Claus, and he has come to get me and take me back to the North Pole. That or give those me. 20 lashes you know, Kim, now. If I ever get another chance, I'm going to work hard and pay attention and not make any more mistakes. Oh, Calvin, I don't want you to go away. We had so much fun together. All those times those Santa kids had made fun of me. A very Good large times. truck and was returning to the home of Kim. The he thought of Seriously? all that had happened to Calvin. <laughs> it literally it said in the story, uh, Santa went towards Calvin by stealing a fucking he garbage truck. What next he would do. He had to be careful with every move, for he needed Kim's help, too. The truck stopped in front of Kim's house. Santa saw the boys had found their plane. He looked at each one closely, Garbage memorizing day. each one's name. Oh, I could go name. for some Silent Night, Deadly Night Part Hopefully, two. Santa approached Garbage the house day. and loudly knocked on the door. Kim heard her mother talking to Santa, the stranger Calvin mentioned before. Duh. We're collecting toys for next year. I'm sure with all the nice new things your children receive this Christmas, they won't mind giving up a few of their old and broken playthings. Maybe the other children have some things. Aren't you a little early this year, though? Usually you come around much later in the year. Oh, uh, there are getting to be so many children that we have to start early. It takes a while. Look, bitch, just give me that toy already! Painted, you know. I guess you're right. I'll see what the other children have. I'm sure we can find something for you. I understand you received a funny little doll for Christmas, and since he isn't really what you wanted, uh, maybe you could donate him. But I love him. He's my own little elf doll. I'm going to tell you this, and you're the first little child in the world ever to see me. You're but adopted. I'm Santa Claus, and I really need little Calvin to help me. Looking Your at mother Kim, secretly a robot. Calvin tightly, Santa knew she loved him too. It's one of Doctor Evil's fan bots. Patiently he watched and waited, <laughs> wondering what the little girl would do. The scene got I miss those. It was difficult for Kim Perhaps to make a decision. Perhaps next time you should try full play. Did she play. keep Calvin or let him go? He had told her he wanted to go home, but she felt she'd miss him so. Kim looked at Santa, and then at her doll. The North Pole was where Calvin belonged. It was then that Kim looked up at Santa and said, Hey, Santa. Santa. Thanking her, he Fuck waved you, and was gone. Da, 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 Taking da, Calvin da. under his arm, toward the street, Santa hurriedly walked. As the boys carried the plane, Calvin saluted. They saw the doll they'd mocked. Look at that, that, that doll's Calvin walking. Both of those yeah, kids he's getting the into the deuce. truck with the old man. The boys watched Santa place him in the truck and then step toward the steering wheel. 
They were stunned by what they'd seen. Was it possible the dummy was real? Santa was overjoyed to have again found Calvin, but he knew he wasn't home yet. The children watched as he drove down the street, not knowing it was Santa they'd met. Suddenly realized that they were missing their garbage truck, uh, the authorities Kim caught up to Santa and her mother stood in front him. of the house, watching the truck go out of sight. Kim missed Calvin, but she was certain that the decision she had made was right. Goodbye, Calvin. I'll always remember the fun we had. And remember, we promise to be good. As for me, I'm going to learn how to become a fire starter. At the airport, you're Calvin really bad at it, and you should stop. Dog. The customs agent wondered what he should do. There was something strange about that toy, but he nodded and let it pass through. The plane carried Whatever, a happy Christmas. elf homeward. Santa oh my God! Actual motion. Calvin was anxious to see all oh, of his never friends, mind. We're back to this. but highly he dreaded to hear. The reindeer were safely waiting. Santa and Calvin climbed in the sleigh. Soon the bells on the harness were jingling as Santa reined them on their way. Through the air, the reindeer sped. Oh, thank God I can finally take this trench coat off. Wait, Santa, no, 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 no! Anxious to return to the warmth of the barn, the deer hurried through the falling snow. The elves were thrilled with Calvin's return. Joyfully, they jumped up and down. That is, all of the elves except Heilig. He watched, not making a sound. Calvin truly wanted to be Heilig's friend and prove he could make perfect toys. As Heilig listened, he knew Calvin was sincere. He'd learned a lot from the girls and boys. The elves were happy for Calvin was rehired. He wasn't going to be sent away. Although it was the beginning of a new work year, it was like another Christmas day. I mean, afterwards, his uh, list Christmas is over, year, it's already Boxing Santa Day, relaxed, which means get back to work, chair. elf slaves! Certain boys needed to oh, God, he has closely. to look again. He's, he's ready for some... Mm -hmm. children wasn't R and R. No, sir. No toys Time for to find out girls and boys. Nice. Who was I am going to keep my the... eyes on those boys really down in the naughty. United States. <laughs> they were wrong being mean to little children. They and now, little be elf, careful. into the mind for you. Now, let's see. I have to check my list again. All right, men. We've had enough rest. We're starting in on the toys for next year. Kelvin, you start working over there on that drum. And two of you start on that slide. And, the rest and of if you don't do what I do. ask, it's off we to the gulag with you. To do. Straight That's to the gulag. Now let's get this workshop humming. Are you doing better, Kelvin? Oh, yes. Uh, yes, I'm very good one. Please don't attack me like Wild You're Tiger. You're proud of me, Heilig. Just wait and see. I'm sorry. We're going to punch you hard The now. little elves began making new toys. Calvin discovered how work could be fun. Heilig laughed as the first toy was finished. And Calvin held up a drum. Santa recalled the unselfish little girl who had given up a toy so dear. He took a pencil and wrote Calvin a note requesting a special doll for next year. Santa knew there were many toys to be made. As his list began to grow, he made plans to secretly visit each good child who they were, only Santa would know. Uh, My brain Calvin had received the... Santa's message and began making a special toy. He knew the gift would be perfect and Kim would be delighted with joy. I'm giving my unborn child Welcome back, to this. Calvin. All the little children in the world need toys, and we must make them correctly. Heilig inspected the newly made toys before storing them on a shelf. He chuckled when seeing Calvin's perfect doll, for it looked 
just like Calvin himself. Good. Can you make one for all of us so we can punch it repeatedly? As Calvin worked super fast, he had finally become a perfect elf. Never again would he finish last. Being a good worker is easy and lots of fun. See what I've done by paying attention? And by the way, a Merry Christmas to everyone! D yes, That's sir. right, Calvin. May I say the same thing? Now remember, be good little girls and boys. <laughs> a Merry Christmas, and... everyone! Rating of this movie is a no! out of ten. One hundred. I'm banishing you to the shadow realm. <laughs> Much better. Uh, wait. Is that really all this is? Just black? Oh, some blue. Uh, d uh, d now it's blue. That. And some gray, apparently. That that's all there was to this. Yep. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> I, I think it's safe to say uh, Christmas has been canceled. Thanks to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're dead. Uh. Merry Christmas to everyone and to all. Blech. Ugh. Merry, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a... <laughs> Merry Christmas to all, and to all... <laughs> Forgive me, I must repay my debts. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I would throw in another one or two. Uh, I, I think we've suffered enough. <laughs> Why don't we... And while we're low... Let's let's end while we're low. So with that said, folks, I'd like to thank y'all for watching. Very extra special thanks to Ish, Pastille, and Mike for the co-commentary, let alone suffering through all this. And now all of these made me go. I shit my pants. So now the question goes to who to send y'all off to right now. Actually, I think I got a good idea of who to send you off to. Uh, let me give a few shout-outs first. Um, first of all, let's give a shout-out to... Yeah, who is currently playing Blues Thinker. Never really heard of that game, but you never know. Could be some cool stuff. Also... A shout out to Commune of Egoists, who is playing some Mario Brothers 2. Uh, is there any special playthrough of that? No, nope, just a chill version of that. And apparently, some. Um, oh, Street to Rage 2. <laughs> Never know. Could be good. And uh, let's also give a shout out to uh, Jules Conrad. A.K.A. Family Jewels, who is currently speedrunning some more Bomberman 64. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and raid Juker right now. Um, just having a casual retro gaming uh, Christmas stream of various Christmas games. Oh, that's already gonna be a go. Oh God, I hope he doesn't play uh, Days Before Christmas. Probably already has. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise. Uh, let's see, raid message. Oh, I, I know what it is. What it will be. Is it gonna be... Is it just gonna be, uh... Our raid message is as follows. We all had great fun in Balloon Land, said... Uh, I thought it was going to be to be uh Shut up Calvin! All you're good is for go away. 
Let me tell you the story about the Christmas elf named Calvin. Shut the fuck up, no one cares about your robot fan fiction. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> um, we're, we're just gonna end it right there for now. I am not really planning on doing anything special for the rest of this week. If it is, it's gonna be random. But yes, if you celebrate them, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and if nothing else, well, then, uh, have a nice day. Anyway, see you all later! Where? <laughs>